it says I am live. Oh my goodness, getting this thing set up was a little uh, hectic this morning. Um, having some technical difficulties, but hopefully they are all ironed out and you can hear me. So as soon as you guys can hear me, let me know over in the chat. Yeah, so we're going to go over all of the little ruly rules and the, the standard procedures. And I see a lot of familiar faces, which is awesome. You guys are back for more. It's always a good sign for an auctioneer if they get people coming back for more, right? Let me see here. i got to turn a couple of things off on my computer. Oh, oh. One moment, please. I have to pull. I, I forgot that I like closed all of my screens to get this going. And there is one screen that I have to have in order for this all to work right. And let me just pull that up. Okay, I got it. It's going to go over there. All right. Whew. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Um. Yeah, and I think, you know, you guys, uh, most of you know that my mom, Bobby Bushy, is usually over there in the chat. She keeps track of everything for me. She had kind of an interesting evening last night. There was a shooting on the street that she lives on. So um, I'm sure she's a little on edge today, and I'm a little on edge for her. I don't like to hear such things. But uh, is my helper. Lean over here. Lean over here. Just... Let him Why? See. She's here. <laughs> yeah, she actually really, really likes this deal of me doing the dishes. I'm just saying. So we're back to like square one now. So for each hour, I do one day's worth of dishes. Deal? Did you do the third day? I did. Oh. Last night. Oh. Don't you remember? All of it. <laughs> That would probably be your brother. Okay. Yes, there are some strange noises coming from downstairs. Because no one forgets that we're doing a live. Gotta love working from home, huh? Anyways, whew. All right. So the way this is going to go, you know I chatter for a few minutes to let you guys all get the notification and come in here. So it's all good. Um. It was actually on the next street on the corner. I can see the house from my house. Yeah, but they, they said it was on your street, according to the news. Ugh. Well, anyway, it's like um, two guys apparently got in a fight, and one guy shot the other guy. The guy that shot the guy is still on the loose, from what I hear. So I'm hoping he doesn't come back. Mom, don't, don't walk the dogs tonight, okay? <laughs> no, we're in Las Vegas. We're in Las Vegas. Austin's bad too, huh? Oh, okay. Hey, let's have some fun. I I have some interesting stuff. I mean, I'm still going to do jewelry, but I'm starting to mix it up more. You guys like some of the other little fun stuff that I'm throwing in. So um, I've found a lot more of that fun little stuff. And uh, so we'll be selling that today. And the way it works is this is an auction format. So I will start every lot, whether it's one piece or, you know, 20 pieces, and it'll all start at a dollar. So uh, we do bid increments of a dollar, no 50 cents or 25 cents. We don't have change. <laughs> That's the new normal, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep it at dollar bid increments. And you are welcome to bid more than a dollar increment. Um, some of you are from the auction world, you know that sometimes if you jump in with where you want to be on an item, nobody else bids. That's a really good tactic too sometimes. Um, whole dollars only. Yes, yes, yes. I have my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful moderators. My, You know, I always feel weird calling them my wrenches. It's just like, because if you take out that R, <laughs> it's very condescending, right? Something tells me though, um, Joni would just laugh at that. <laughs> My wrenches are over there um, to keep you guys all on track. And they will be. So Joni, when she hears me say sold, she is going to type it over in the chat. And I don't call the winner until Joni says sold 
And then Tri-State Picker Mom will say who the winner is. And that's because there's a lag. Like what I'm saying right this second, you're not actually going to hear and see for about anywhere from 10 to 20, sometimes even longer seconds. So Joni's on, you know, that same lag with you guys. So when she hears me say it, she can type it because chat is in real time. And, and then because we all see our, our comments differently than everybody else sees them. So that's why Tri-State Picker Mom comes in and says who she saw as the high bidder before Joni said sold. And that keeps it fair and square for everyone. Hopefully <laughs> we do our best with what we have to work with. And so far, so good. It's worked really good. Am I going to sell some of Rachel's art? Well, Rachel got a little behind in her schoolwork. So mama did not let her do a whole lot of painting this week. So once she gets caught up and she promises she's going to get caught up by this weekend, then next week she'll have some art for you guys. Yep, you know, sometimes got a Fred picture. You have a Fred picture? Is it finished? Oh, well, maybe we could do one. Maybe we could do one. She's going to go get it. Oh, whoop. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and I don't have the cover on my phone, so we cannot be dropping the phone on the ground. That would be really, really bad. Uh-oh. What'd you do? What did I do? I don't know. Did something weird. Ah. Oh, no. What? It it exited the broadcast studio. So this is our little, this is our second camera. So excuse me for one moment as I get it working again, because somebody tripped over the wire in her excitement to go get her artwork. Because we have to leave it plugged in so that, okay, enter broadcast studio. Okay, might be an echo. I'll fix it. I think we're good now. Yep, I got rid of it. Oof. Okay. All right. We're good. Give me a Fred picture. So Fred is actually um, our fish. <laughs> he is a red dwarf gourami male. And uh, it, it, he's named Fred because I wanted to name him Red. And he's a fish. So we just threw an F on the front of it. So he's Fred. And so there's Fred. So this will be up for auction today. Now, I'm always really bad about this. So let me just take a moment to put this on the screen. Um, all proceeds are going to support the Niche Foundation, which is a, a nonprofit. You know, there we go. Which is a nonprofit that I founded to help disadvantaged women be able to create their own online businesses so that when they are coming out of a bad situation, a lot of times, like in my own story, married for 22 years, I didn't need to build a career that would support me completely. Um, so thank God I had eBay. And um, eBay has been a godsend because it's, it's how I managed to keep a uh, roof over the head for my for my kids and me and food on the table. And so I want to pass that on to others through not just training, but we want to provide the equipment they need, computers and um, cameras and photo setups and whatever, you know, and help them really get set up and be successful. And also with inventory. So that is where all the money you spend today is going into the foundation. And for those of you that have been following along, oh, I lost my comments here. For those of you who have been following along, um, we have hired the attorney, retainer has been paid, and now we're just kind of going back and forth to it to get it filed and so this is this is happening because of you guys like totally because of you guys being willing to come over here and and buy some stuff and have some fun so i am i'm am really really touched by 
the response to these sales. I had no idea, you know, you guys would be so enthusiastic about this. So that like just makes my heart so happy. Um, so yeah, so the funds are still going to continue to go into the foundation because we are actually looking at um, a, a building right now to get in so that we can expand and just really go in full steam. Did I ever decide on, oh, no, 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 we haven't decided on the new, I'm going to put up a poll with like the top choices for, for you guys that follow the channel. You're going to have a name soon, I promise. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, what else do we have to cover? We have a dog over here now. We have two dogs over here now at my feet, yes. All right, so if you, okay, you cannot be dropping my phone because the case is not on my phone. I don't know that I can stress that enough. And you might have knocked yourself out of the no. studio again. No. No, we're good? Okay. All right. She's fine. She's under the bed. Oh, go. All right. Okay. He's, he's okay for now. He wants to be under the desk. Okay. As I was saying. Here's one of the things we do. So I explained the, the bidding and how that's going to work. But when the bidding goes over $25, either per lot or a total of what you have won. Okay, you can't be doing that. You're making me nervous because you're gonna knock that off the desk again. All right. Can you afford to buy me a new phone? No. Didn't think so. All right. <laughs> I haven't even paid for this one yet. Um, so when the bidding goes over $25 or your total spend goes over $25, it will be free shipping for the US domestic shipping. I will take a discount off of international shipping, but international shipping, I will only do priority mail international. And I send that in a flat rate uh, padded envelope, usually unless you get so much that it doesn't go in a padded flat rate envelope. Um, and then that, so that's a set price and I'll discount, you know, off of that. So there's that. Now, some of you, already sent me your info or you have um, bought something before. If you've already bought something from me, if you've had an email from me, all of that, we're good to go. If you have not, I'm going to ask that you pop over to the niche lady at gmail.com and send me your info. And that just, that helps us like not have lots that go like I've had people who I never hear from and then we have to re-auction the stuff or you know it goes to the underbidder and that's more work so I would rather you get the stuff that you bid on so just send in that to me now send me your YouTube name your real name your your zip code at least and um, what am I forgetting yeah I need your zip code to know you know for figuring shipping, but yeah, I think we're good. Oh, and your PayPal email address, if it's different from the one that you email me from. And I actually have the um, the email pulled up over here. Okay, so, um, and, and I know I just got an email from somebody who says they have not received their item yet. So you need to be sure you are checking your emails. I have communicated a couple of problems with shipping addresses to a couple of you. Um, and I have sent emails back and so check your spam filters, whatever you need to do to try to find those emails. Um, there is tracking that you can go into the invoice that you paid and it will show the tracking number. And that will also tell you if there is any issues. That's why I use PayPal for the invoices because I can ship the printing labels. The tracking's all there. It keeps everything all nice and organized for both of us. It's for both of us. All right. Um, oh, yeah, my mom's answering. I do. I have four children. Two are grown and two are teenagers. Hoo -hoo -hoo! And I have five grandchildren. Yes. Yes. That I never get to see, which is sad. Okay. Who's ready to start an auction? 
And I have three dogs, two guinea pigs, three birds, and three tortoises. Oh, and two fish, right? They know about Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy's the man. Ozzy's in trouble this morning, though, because Ozzy chewed Noah's internet cable. And uh, that's not such a good thing. You're laughing. You're laughing at your brother's demise. Not, not nice. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Okay, did I forget anything? He is very naughty. Okay, you're going to need to pay attention, which means putting puppies down, not letting my phone hit the floor again. That's your job over here. It's worth, you know, getting those dishes done. All right, what do we want to start with? I think we will start with, oh, one more thing. One more thing. If you are here now and hearing my voice live, in this first hour ish um we are keeping track of the the names of the winners and the underbidder which is like the person right before the winner and those names are getting put into a jar and this is for the first hour ish and if you are still here at the end of the sale we're doing some giveaways but you must be present to win. That's just, that is my thank you for those of you who are able to stick around and support this. Um, so yeah, and uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm giving away yet today, but it will be some fun stuff. Okay, where shall we begin? Uh, bum, bum, bum. The what? Oh yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Rachel. Even she remembers. See up at the top? It says either top chat or live chat. Make sure you change that to live chat. If it's in top chat, you're liable to miss some of the bidding. If you're bidding on something, you'll get behind. So make sure you are at, make sure you are in live chat. There we go. Good job for remembering that. How about we do? A big old lot of bracelets. We will get started with the lot of bracelets. I think I'm going to put. I'm going to decide what I want to put with what. We'll do those with those. Okay, we'll do this. I like to make these lots juicy for you. Okay, what you're going to get. And mom, I'll give you a, a total count at the end here. So we've got this little heart guy. It's kind of like on cord. And I'm going to just let Rachel show you closer up. I'll give you the, the quick version. This is like a, I'm not even sure what this is. It's like a, it's a leather wrap. It is leather. So it's a leather wrap. Oh, I have to put her up on the thing here, don't I? Oh, there she is. And then we've got this. Oh, this looks like little blown glass little blown glass flowers in there look at that with a i don't know if it's real silver it's not marked so we're calling it silver tone it does have a little stretch to it but this is a this is like a child's bracelet i'm pretty sure okay then we have um, a couple with religious these are stretchy and they have religious um I don't know what you call them, figures, people, saints in them all the way around. And then this one is little stones. Ooh, are they stones or are they glass? Wow, oh, this is very interesting. And I'm gonna let Rachel show that one. So what do we have? We have, I can't see, one, two, three, six bracelets, icons. Okay, thank you. I will take down the logo. Thank you for that. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Now you can see. And we're starting with a $1 starting bid. And you can just kind of pan from kind of, kind of show them this one a little more. I think this one's really interesting. We've got $5 with Melissa. $5 with Melissa. 
The heart bracelet looks like a Brighton piece. Ooh, would it? Oh, look. Show them that. Show them that little, little doohickey right there. Is that Brighton? I think it might be. I think it might be. So we have $9 with a Bobby Jansky. Nine with Bobby Jansky. Ten with Melissa. Ten with Melissa. We're getting all six bracelets for one money. Old Stuff Beth Texas. $12 with Old Stuff Beth Texas. Fifteen with Melissa. Got fifteen with Melissa. We're going, oh, there you guys are jumping. Oh, Peggy, it looks like you might be a little behind. Refresh and make sure you're in live chat. Um, 17, 18 with Old Stuff Beth Texas. Old Stuff Beth, Te Beth Texas is at 18. $18 going once. 18. Ah, I got, uh, oh, I got 20 in two places. It looks like Heather came in just ahead of you, Peggy. Um, Melissa jumped in at 22. So we're looking for 23 now. 23. I think Melissa really wants this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are almost at free. Like the next bid, we're at free shipping. Next bid is at free shipping. Somebody make it 25 and then we're on free shipping. There we go. Uh, free domestic shipping. We're at 25. So your bid now includes free shipping. 26 with Robin. 26 with Robin. Looking for 27. Looking for 27. Oh, Peggy, still just a little behind there. Might be some lag going on. Give you a minute to, well, I'm not going to give a full minute. I'll give you a few seconds to throw in another bit if you want to. Break that tie for me. Somebody break that tie for me. I don't like ties. There we go. I got uh, 27, 28, 29 with Melissa. <clears throat> 29 with Melissa. Going once. 29 going twice. Oh, I got two in at 30. I've got Heather came in. looks like first Heather came in first over Robin. Robin, do you want to be 31? Looking for 31. Yes, I can. What was the problem with the ice pack? It was in the view. Oh, I'm going to show this one again. I really like this one. Okay, I'm at 30 with a uh, 31 with Robin. Thank you, Robin. 31 with Robin. I'm at 31. I'm gonna say going once. Wish that would focus better. Going twice. And I'm gonna call sold on lot number one, six bracelets yeah. gotta remember how to do this oops no that is not for you Ozzy oh I took all my cups out to the garage I don't have my cups to put stuff in now and I see the soul and it looks like that is going to lot number one is going to Robin Bowser at 31 um robin i have you sent me an email yet if you have not please shoot an email over to the niche lady at gmail.com and give me your your youtube name your real name if it's different your paypal preferred email address if it's different than the one that you email me from and uh your shipping address yay thank you robin and okay, uh, 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 yeah, you know, you have an advantage over Melissa. She is in Canada, so she does not get the free shipping. So you did miss lot one, Christine, but that's okay. There's plenty more. There are plenty more to go. All right, I'm gonna like try to do jewelry and fun stuff, jewelry and fun stuff, because I have quite the mix of both. All right, I don't know anything about value on these i didn't look anything up 
but this is going to be a lot of vintage matchbooks and you are going to get I'm gonna we're gonna kind of count together like this package has four I think each one of these has four in it oh Robin you've already gotten a package from me you're good to go then awesome Yay, and Yvonne got her little goodies. Yay. All right, so in this pack, you have Aladdin Casino, which is no longer. That one was blown up. Imperial Palace is no more. That's long gone. Um, this is Nevada, Gold Strike, Nevada Landing, and Railroad Pass. That one, I think that one might have changed names. Um, and then you've got the Mirage, which for now still exists. So you got those, and then we've got Horseshoe, Binion's Horseshoe, Downtown Las Vegas, uh, D.D. Bean and Sons, Skyline Casino and Restaurant, and Sam's Town. So four more in there. And this one you have MGM Grand. Oh, this is when it was the theme park. So that is super old because that theme park has been gone for a long time. Uh, we got another Binion's Horseshoe, Las Vegas Club, and what is that? You might have to take these out of the baggies and show them in a second here. Oh, and Palace Station. So we got those. And then we have Joker's Wild Casino and a Circus Circus. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I just dropped these all on the floor. My bad. Okay, these are my favorites. These are my favorites. These are my favorites. Check it out. Vintage Disneyland Hotel matchbooks. There's three of this style, and then there's one of this style. Oh, she's saying, Mom, put me on the stream here. And then there's one that actually shows a very vintage view of the Disneyland Hotel. Is this in? It does. Oh, turn over. Um, trying to see if this, okay, this is the Southern California. I'm trying to think when it looked like that. It's been a long time since it's looked like that. All right. So how many we got all together? Anybody keep count? One, two, three, four. I said you got to take them out of the bags. I'm trying to keep the sets. Oh, it's okay. It no, it doesn't matter. They're all going together. Can you take them out there? Yeah, they're all, they're getting them. Oh, these are unstruck, by the way. These are unstruck. Pretty sure all of them. I didn't check every single one, but you can see these are intact, which I know has more value than if they were just, yep, yep, yep. Get them all. These are like sealed in here, so we'll leave those. No, nope, they aren't. You oh, they're not? Is it open? You know, sometimes it takes a teenager to set you straight. There we go. It's oh. Just sticky. oh, it's the Longhorn Casino is the one I couldn't see before. And then all of these. So there you go. You're getting them all. I didn't, still didn't count how many there were. Did you count how many there were? They're all, yeah, they're in great condition. They're in great condition. How many we got? 21. 21? Hey, lucky 21. So you got 21 vintage matchbooks. You guys, I give you time to even go look this stuff up on eBay and see what it's going for. Go, go check out, just go check out what a vintage MGM Grand and theme park See, that's the key with this one. MGM Grand is still there, but that theme park has been gone for a long time. Long time. They don't put dates on these. I wish they put dates, and you can see they're all still there. All still there. Yeah, there's no... Wait, is that a date? No. This says, be safe and close cover before striking. Keep away from children. Uh-oh. I'm not a child. You're not a child anymore? Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm 
looking, I'm looking, I'm looking to see if any of these have a date on them, and they don't. If we have to keep it away from anybody, no. it's him. Oh, we had a power bit over there with cool motion. See, I'm bringing out the stuff some guys will like want to buy now, too. The Aladdin. They're like, when did they blow up the Aladdin? It's been a long time. The Aladdin has been gone a long time. And I'll tell you, it's possible even these ones that still exist are not going to be around much longer either. I'm just saying. Um, Vegas is really struggling. It's really struggling. All right, where are we at? We're at $25 going once. We are at $25 going twice. And we are at free shipping. Yes, that is true. And we are going to call this lot sold. Yes. God only gave me two hands. So you can put those. Just try to get them all back into that one carefully. Don't mush anything. And that went to Cool Motion for $25. So Cool Motion, if you could please shoot an email over to the niche lady at gmail.com with your YouTube name, your real name, um, your, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. If it is different from the one that you're going to email me from. That phone does heat up fast, doesn't it? Ooh, Nelly. Okay. And I will watch for that email to come through. So that was lot number two. And mom, you can just put matchbooks because that's the only matchbooks I have in this auction. All right. How about we do, <laughs> we do a couple of rings. I do believe, yeah, this one's marked 925. Where's my little ring holder here? So this is definitely marked 925 silver. Kind of just a nice little abstract. <clears throat> oh my God, a frog in my throat. I hate when that happens. And then this one is also marked, I believe that's also marked, yep, yeah, that's marked 925 and it's got, I want to say that's a garnet on there, and I will get you sizes. It's a very, very deep red. It's a deep red. And we'll get you sizes. Um, turn the brightness down on the phone. I'm not sure I even know how to do that. Okay, size on, this is a six and three quarters. The garnet, it's six and three quarters. Good job, just set that over there. And then this one is most of these rings I had bought for myself at some point. But you guys watch my videos. I don't wear jewelry. I don't wear jewelry because I am just too busy using my hands to do stuff. And I break jewelry or I knock stones out, so I just don't even try. This one is a. It's. It's a large six and a half, meaning it goes just over six and a half. So keep that in mind. Now I will let my lovely assistant over here show you what we got and try to show you some close up of what we got. Yeah. Here we go. I see we are all ready at. And so, mom, you can call this the two nine two five rings two nine two five rings uh we have tri-state picker mom at 12. tri-state picker mom is at 12. they're better than that silver's up you guys silver's up you're getting them both uh kathleen is at 13. 13 we're looking for 14. 14 with lois looking for 15. to those of you who bought something last week I was a little behind in getting everything out um, because I had I had 14 items to ship on Monday with my regular eBay, <laughs> which would have been my day to mail everything. Um, so that kind of put me behind just a little bit. 
Yeah. So, but you all should start receiving your item because they went out on Tuesday. <coughs> so some of you are saying that you've gotten your things. Hi, I got this like tickle in my throat that won't go away. It's like everybody else like so self-conscious about coughing these days. <laughs> I'm like learning not to cough. All right. We got Heather at 25. We're now on free shipping with this lot. Free shipping. Can help spin. spin it. What they really want to see is the mark on the inside. So let me hold it. So maybe you can show them that mark on the inside of the band. It's really hard. There's some tarnish in there, so it's going to be a little hard to see. You know what? You don't. You don't need to see me. You do that? Okay. You do that? Okay. Ah! Yeah. Gotta turn that down then. Okay. Sorry, guys. If I was a technological genius, I would rule the world. But I'm not. So <laughs> there's no worries in that. <laughs> no ruling the world for this girl. <laughs> We're good now, though, right? Let's see. Where's our bidding at? We're still at Heather at 25, so we're going to say going once. These are really nice rings. Really nice rings. These are 925 sterling silver with the gemstone. I want to say it's garnet. I don't think it's ruby. I don't know if you guys can make out that really deep red. I'm trying to get the angle of the light there. You can see a little bit. See the red? It wants to focus back here. Yes, it does. Just trying to show them that the shade of red in that ring. All right. What did I say? Going once, going twice, and sold. That's how I do that. Unmute your oh. thing. I'm backstage. You have to unmute. Yourself. I'm not muted, oh. but it's coming through there. You got to fix that. One second. <laughs> Did that work? Okay. I think we're good. Uh oh. It does that all the time. Okay. Oh, it's getting warm. All right. Let's leave that over there. Let me do something where you don't need to use that so that can cool down. So something fun, something fun, something fun. You guys liked are my are my salt and pepper people here today? Because I'm gonna let the cuties go. I'm gonna let the cuties go. If we don't break them first. If I don't break them first, thank you, thank you, wise one. Dropping. How about these guys? So this lot is the the little set of duck. That scared me. Duck salt and pepper shakers. The duckies, the little duckies on their little holder. I'm gonna show one at a time. So there's the little there's the little girl duck. She's wearing like a little Dutch bonnety hat. She's not chipped. There's no chipping. It's just a little wear on the paint. <clears throat> now the bottoms of these say Japan, but the holder says occupied, made in occupied Japan. So the holder, and I know this is their holder because look at the shape and then it's perfectly fit. So this is the holder that goes with these. Now I'm looking, he's got, nope, that's the way he was painted. It's just the way they were painted. They were not painted with finesse. Rachel did not paint these for sure. No, you weren't even born yet. 
Um, he's carrying flowers and a book. He's a bird. I don't, maybe he's not a duck. Those are not duck feathers. She's a, maybe that she's not a duck either. Maybe she's just a bird. They don't have a bill. Just a bird? They're just birds. Okay, they're just birds. I have been corrected. They're not ducks. They are just birds. <laughs> there we go. Are we bidding? We're bidding. Melissa's at 15. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. They got their little corks, which are snug on the bottom. These are really nice. These are really cute. I'm going to do this and try not to drop them. I have Melissa at 15. Melissa at 15. Anybody else interested? I got Melissa at 15 going once. Melissa at 15 going twice. And Soul. The waiting, the waiting. What's that song? The waiting is the hardest part. All right, there's our soul. It goes to a Melissa for fifteen dollars. Thank you, thank you. Okay, where's all my bidders today? Let's see. Let's do some more jewelry. Oh, I like this lot. I like this lot a lot. All right, mom. This is going to be the. Cloisonne hair pieces. And this is a lot which I'm going to include five items. So we have two of the hair combs. Okay, and these are cloisonne. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you on here in just a second. I'm gonna show them this one. Now this actually is a buckle, but it's cloisonne, so I'm including it. I don't know why I'm including it in the hair lot, but there you go. It is a buckle with the orchids. There's the back. Is it marked? It is not marked. Let me put my trusty, dusty little assistant on here. This is um, not marked. This is rhinestones. There we go. We got the rhinestones going on there. It's like a little bobby pin kind of thing. I got to remember that I'm not full screen. So you can see it's hooked on there like that. There's the back. There we go. So you're going to get that one. <clears throat> and then you're also going to get, this is on a bobby pin, and it's this sweet little, whoop. there we go. It's got black rhinestone and a clear rhinestone. It does not want to cooperate. Come on. There we go. There we go. So then you're also going to get that one. So you're going to get all five pieces for one money. And I see Kay Henry jumped in at $10. $10. 10 looking for 11. 10 looking for 11. We're going to go fast. I got to sell a lot more stuff. I'm going to sell it cheaper. <laughs> ah, I see Lois jumped in at 12. $12 with Lois. 13 with Melissa. <clears throat> 13 with Melissa looking for 14. We're going to say going once. We're going to say going twice. 15 with K, 15 with K, jumped in there just before I said the word. 15 with K, look, not, what do you want to look at, Lois? What are, you are wiggling all over the place. You're going to make them dizzy. You got to get down there and show them the pieces. Yeah, keep on, show them this one, show them that buckle. I think a buckle is probably the money right there it keeps yeah freezing. it does that okay going once going twice sold
I'm just waiting. Good time to refresh. It's a good time to refresh right now before we start on the next item. I think there's a little lagging going on. I see the sold. And it, oh, it looks like we have a snipe bid come in. Sold, lot number five, sold to Christine Peroni for $16. That's how you do an auction right there. Right on. Good job, Christine. Yep, everybody, if you want to do a little refresh that way and get back into live chat, keep it going. He's staring, yes. All right, how about another guy lot? I got another guy lot. I'm just, I just mishmash some stuff together. Here, let me get it all over in front of me. And then you guys can go to town bid. All right. So in this guy lot, <clears throat> just call this the guy lot, mom. And then we'll count how many pieces are in it. Because I, 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 I don't know yet. <laughs> so we have a vintage Zippo lighter. Zippo. 13 pieces. Oh, it, it sparks. So it's a good one. Um, there's your Zippo on the bottom. Focus. Come on. Focus. There we go. I'm sure that if you know about Zippos, all of that Why do people do means such something. I don't even know who that was. It doesn't matter. Um, we have a little, this is an interesting little knife. It's a, <sighs> can you get that open? I know you don't like knives. No, it pulls open right here. Just pull that. Because usually there's a name on these, but my hands don't like to open such things. She can't get it either. I have no nails and usually I use my nails to, oh, I got it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I wanted to see the name on it, which is, hmm, what does that say? Anything? It's too small for me to read. Yeah, there is something on it. But anyway, there it is. It's got this whole little inlaid handle. And there is, the mark is like right where it goes into the thing there. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. All right. If that means anything to anybody. So I'm going to close this because Rachel does not like knives. And it's got another blade. So it's got two, two blade things. Okay. So you're going to get that. Don't, you're no. going to get. This says it's a topper for Count Chocula. I don't know. I don't know anything about Count, Count Chocula, but this thing is old. It's like a pencil topper. Oh, it's 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 a pencil topper with Count Chocula. That's what it is. Is Count Chocula still around? I don't know. Who's this guy, Rachel? He looks like a flea. I have no idea. He looks like a flea. You're going to get the flea. You're going to get the flea guy. Oh, come on. Come on, focus. He's too funny. There we go. We got the flea. There he is. There he is. And he does say something on the bottom, but I'm not sure we can make it out. Whatever that says, hopefully you can see it. I don't know what he says on the bottom. There's the flea. And then, <laughs> I know. It says China on the bottom. It says China on the bottom. Okay. This is um, a, a piece of jewelry, but it's a kind of a guy piece of jewelry. Well. It's a car. I know. Women like cars, too. Um, the wheels actually turn. The wheels turn on this little pendant. How cute is that? You're going to get that, too. And then you're going to get, oh, this is such a guy pin. I'm just going to throw that one in there, too. All right. You're going to get her. I got these weird coins. Like they're, ah, uh, what does this one say? Old coins. Juan Carlos, 19. I don't know where that's from. Where would a Juan Carlos be from? I'll turn it on in a second. I know. I got. I know how this works now. I'm showing him the coin. Okay. I'm going to put her on now so she can show you that coin. Show him the coins as I'm talking about them so that this is a token for the Silver Spur Casino in Reno, Nevada. 
that on there. And I got a second one of these Juan Carlos. Oh, is it from Spain? Oh, the flea is from Disney's A Bug Life. There we go. So this is a 25 PTAS. Oh, yeah, it says Barcelona on it. There we go. So there, I'm giving you money. Giving you money in this lot. And then this one is, I don't know. I have no clue who done it on this one. I'm going to let you show it. Papa's being loud. And then I have a, oh, this is from Brazil, as my friend um, Misty would say. Thrifter, junker, treasure hunter, I think is her channel. Ah, oh, sorry, Misty, I just butchered that. Um, Cruceros. A cruceros, 10 cruceros from Brazil, as she would say. And then you're going to get Star Wars coins. Dun, 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 dun. That is Yoda and Darth. Yoda and Darth. This one actually had a price tag of $13.99 just, just on this little baby right here. Oh, there's our guy lot. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13 pieces on the guy lot. 13 piece guy lot. Let's go. You said 13? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Brie, I think you are lagging just a little bit. You might want to make sure you're in live chat. And if you are in live chat, make sure you refresh so that you can see what the chat is doing. I got 15 with Tiger Purple. 16 with Wendy. 16 with Wendy. Is this a little mishmash or what? 17 with Tri-State Picker Mom. I told you, I just put some fun lots together this time. I don't know. What's the money worth? Anybody know what the money's worth? I would like to know what the money's worth. I'm going to look something up real quick. While you, got, you keep bidding. Keep bidding. I gotta look at something on the Star Wars coin. Z. Let's see. Star Wars coin. Yoda. Oh, they're selling for about eight bucks, it looks like. Yeah. Not gonna make you rich, but hey, that's why I throw it in a lot. All right, where are we at? 28 with Wendy. 28 with Wendy. Oh, they make silver Yoda coins. How cool is that? Nice. Oh, I guess it's a token more than a coin, huh? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got you got 20 bucks just in Star Wars tokens in this lot. Look at that. All right. 28 with Wendy. Looking for 29. I'm going once. And we are at free shipping. We are at free shipping. I do have some true vintage pre-1970 jewelry. Yep. Yep. Always. Yep, yep, yep. I actually have some pieces I think are real pearls. I think. I've been wanting to put them up, but I was like trying to figure out if they were real pearls. They feel like real pearls. I'm going to put those up. Um, I have some rhinestones. I have some, ca uh, not cameos. I have some lockets. Kind of looking down at my stash. I have some, oh, I do, I do have like one cameo. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get some, we'll get some vintage jewelry out here. Yep. Um, Melissa, I could, is it like if I could leave that out of the package, if that's what's causing it to be a problem. Yeah. I'll work anything out. Yep. <laughs> See, somebody could buy that. If Melissa wins, then somebody could buy that lighter right from Melissa. <laughs> and then I'll just do the shipping for you. I'll, you can do drop shipping right here <laughs> with the niche lady. <laughs> yeah. So if you're interested in the other things, um, we could just leave that out of the package. I get it. I get it. Yeah. International can get tricky. All right. Where are we at? $30 with Bree Gia. Going once. Going twice and 
sold. Give this a second for the lie. Oh, geez, my hands just don't want to work today. I'm dropping everything. Probably not a good day to work on my glass then, huh? She's looking at me like, I don't think she's ever seen Star Wars. Can you believe that? She's never wanted to see Star Wars. My kid has not seen Star Wars. And that was sold. Lot number six was sold to Brie Gia for $30. Brie, I think I have your email. I'm pretty sure you've emailed me before. If you have not, make sure you do so this time. But I'm pretty sure I have your info, right? Yes, I think so. I am like a little kid sometimes. Come on, you got it. You got to. You got to in this life, right? Okay, let's throw a little vintage jewelry up since I got asked about some vintage jewelry. How about let's do our locket, locket lot. Mom, you can call this the locket lot. You are going to get this, this little locket here. Let's see if I can get it open. I haven't opened these and there might be pictures inside. Nope. No pictures, but it's got the double heart. Okay, so there's ouch, one. I just, I just closed it on my fingers. That hurt. <laughs> and this is a little monogrammed piece. I think it's got, um, is that a G? What do you see? Is that a G? Open that one up for me. It looks like a C. Oh, a C? Now I've got these Wait, two. Yeah, I have two G. of these. They're little locket pins. It's a G. Okay, open it. Ah, come on. Open, open, open. There we go. There's the little pins. I'd never seen pins before. You can't do it one handed. I, I did. Oh, there's the inside of that I one. I just did it one handed. All right. You're awesome. Look at you. Let's get you on the screen so you can show them the close-ups. There we go. Caught you off guard there, didn't I? And then this is a really tiny, this is a tiny little locket pendant. See if I, my thumbnail is destroyed. I was peeling stickers this morning and just absolutely, oh, this one has a picture in it. Oh my gosh. Look, look. Oh, come on, focus camera. I can show it. I know. Look! It's got a sweet little old picture in it. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Look at that. And then these, are, oh, oh, I have another one. I have another one of the pin lockets. Okay, so there's three pin lockets. No. Oh, no, that's the same one I had before. Psych. And then I'm throwing in these two. I don't know why I felt like they needed to go with the locket lot, but they're like just sweet little little shoe pendants. I don't think they're signed or anything. No. Okay. And this one. Oh, this does have a, this does have a mark on it. Ooh. Does that say 925? Does that say 925 on there? Use the camera. Use the camera. Because you put it up on the screen, I might be able to see it. <laughs> I think that's his 925, right? So we got some silver. We got some silver in this lot. So we have one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Seven pieces in this lot. I see Melissa at $18. We're at $18 on the locket lot. Locket lot. Oh, that one. Close up on that one. Close up on this one. I want to see that picture closer. Closer. See if it'll let you get closer. No, nope. get a little closer. Now don't be shy. Closer. You can Someone's get a you. little closer. Oh, it's the antique mall. They can't be calling me right now. Okay, you want to hear me like make a deal right here live? Uh, you're still camera. I know. Oh, here we go. Hello. 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 Yes. Yes. 
What you got? Uh, okay, looks like book 85 do they have an offer for me? 65? Thank you. Bye. And that's how you make a deal at the antique mall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to take that. Okay. You're back, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little uh you might have seen it in one of the videos. It was in the it was when I did the uh, that went to that auction. And there was the little bookcase that looked like, well, it looked like books. And I think I paid, no, I paid 45, but it had over a hundred CDs in it. So I put $85 on it down at the antique mall. And I think I just sold it for 65. So we're in the money. Okay. Where are we at? We're at $26 with Robin. I gave you guys lots of time to go look up lockets. Oh, we're at free shipping now. You're right. You're so on top of it. We are at free shipping. Free shipping. And then we're going to say, going once. Going twice. And sold. All right. Now I got all these nice little baggies over here that I can see. So oh, let's take you off. Okay. This is a nice little lot. That one with the picture in it, ah, oh, just pulls my little heartstrings, that one does. I don't know what it is. All right, let's do a fun lot. Badges. We don't need no stinking badges. Oh, what movie is that from? Anybody know? I went to Robin Bowser at, for $26. Thank you, Robin. Who does that line? What movie is that? Can I ship the items with your first order? Mm, what first? Yeah, everything gets combined. It all gets combined together. You, now Robin, and anybody who has spent more than $25, you're at free shipping on everything you bid on. So no matter what it goes for, you're at free shipping. That's how we do this. Okay, I like to reward those who like to play along. Yep, you will be, have combined into one shipment. All right, I still want to know, was that Blazing Saddles? Was it really Blazing Saddles? I guess it was, huh? Okay, good trivia. And who said it? Who said it? Badges. We don't need no stinking badges. I just remember that line. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've got badges. We've got Mr. Munch from Chuck E. Cheese. We've got Boss. We've got Obey the Impulse. These all had little tags on it from a shop. Obey the Impulse. I don't know what that means. Actually, we can let that cool down because these are all big enough that UPS, show me the money Teamsters pin. With horses. Bill. Thank you. Uh, then we've got grand opening of the Madison House in Sacagawea or the Sacagawea Inn, Saturday, July 10th. Too bad there's not a year on it. No year. Philadelphia Phillies. Any Phillies fans? Here we go. And. Uh, May God bless the victory of the Allied troops. Anybody know the time frame for this one? Who were the Allied troops that they are referring to on this one? And of course, there's really nothing on the backs of these. They are just, just badges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven vintage pin badges starting at a dollar. Starting at a dollar. Any interest? Hi, Marie. Welcome to Vegas. How do I keep up with my work schedule? I have a ta-da list and an accountability partner, <laughs> meaning that I have a friend that for the last eight years, her and I have sent our, our to-do list to each other to kind of hold us accountable. And so we can kind of see when we're slipping on something and, and yeah, it just helps keep us 
on top of things. So it's a triage. It's a daily triage of things that need to be done. And the further I get, oh, here, might as well show you what you're bidding on for those playing along. Here we go. Um, I was wondering what. <laughs> Yeah, so it's uh, it's just a matter of like, you know, you get halfway through the day and you kind of see how much time you go, okay, wait, I got to bump this up to here and this up to here and, you know, getting this. Oh, World War II are the Allied troops. Thank you for that, Janine. Thank you for that. So that so that's an old pin. Getting all seven for $5 with Lois. $5 for all. There's a glare. There's a glare. It's probably coming from that window. We're gonna close this one oh, fast. Going once. Going twice. Let's call them soul. Let's call them soul. Goodbye. Some of these pins can go for some pretty good money. I don't look any of this stuff up before I sell it at the sale. I just sell it. Let's do. Let's do these necklaces. I'm gonna do two of these vintage necklaces together. This one is marked Joan Rivers. So this is a Joan Rivers necklace. Kind of a double strand faux pearls it's got some weight to it it's marked right on the back there come on camera there we go it wants to focus there we go so there's gonna be that one and then this one is it marked this one is not marked. This one is not marked. It's just got a pretty, pretty pendant with a black. I'm gonna say that's a glass stone because it is very cool. Even when I rub on it, it stays pretty cool. So, not gonna guarantee it's an auction. It's an auction, so I'm not gonna guarantee. But that's what it feels like to me. You make your own judgment. Ask any questions you need to be sure. I see six dollars with Lois. Six dollars with Lois on the two. Some of those Joan Rivers, believe it or not, go look it up. Joan Rivers jewelry goes for some big money. Goes for some big money. It does look art deco. I am not showing you. There we go. So bad. Good thing I have you to nag me, right? <laughs> I see, uh, let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Peggy jumped in there at 10. Ah, we've got 12. We've got 13 with Lois. 13 with Lois. 15 with Peggy. See, Peggy? Peggy knows what she's looking at. Yes, yes, yes. All right, 15 with Peggy. Uh, 16, 17 with Melissa. 17 with Melissa. 18 with Peggy. 18 with Peggy. And we're going to say 19 with Lois. See, I was almost going to shut it down. I'm going to try to get through more things today by just going a little quicker. I never managed to get that done. We are almost to free shipping on this lot. 22 with Melissa. 22 with Melissa. 25 with Peggy. We are now at free shipping. Free shipping on this lot. So 25 with Peggy. Going once. Going twice and sold. Yeah, I miss Joan Rivers too. She was she was an outstanding comedian. I have a little I have a little fun lot here. I know some of these really have some value. That badge's question was originally said in the treasure of Sierra Madrea. Ah, okay. 
What? Sold lot number nine. Uh, Mary Ann Unser jumped in at twenty nine dollars. Oh, thank you, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, I don't think that you have bought from me before. So if you could shoot an email over to the niche lady at gmail.com. That would be much appreciated. Much appreciated. Make sure if you're just coming in that you are in live chat, not top chat, because top chat will cause you to lose your place in the bidding. Um, so live chat, super important and uh, welcome. Um, we're going to give it a few more minutes on those coming in and bidding uh, for going into the jar for the drawing at the end. So just wanted to give my, uh, my mods a heads up on that. We're going to, we're going to extend it out a little bit because I'm seeing people just now coming in. They might've just gotten the notification because YouTube can be a little wonky. Okay. We are going to do a lot of these little, um, little tiny half dolls. So they are porcelain. I think, I think they're all porcelain or bisque. So you're going to get this girl. Okay. I'm going to get her. You're going to get this girl. She's in, she would have had like a skirt on there. That's why they're halves. And then they would have put, you know, some little dress thing on them. These were too tiny to really, I don't think these would have been like the pin cushion ones, but maybe they were. Now this is a little, this is a bisque and yes, it's missing its little arms. Um, but this is super old. These are not repros. These are, these are old. Look at that really old face on there. Cool. Come on, focus. But it doesn't have my hand too far away. Okay. I'm get that one. I'm going to get another one like that one. I've had this stuff in storage for years. <laughs> so, and this I thought was really interesting. Uh, it's a man. It's a little man. Look at him. Look at him. He's got like a little 1920s, the handlebar mustachey thing going there. And he is marked on the back. He's marked Two, what does that say? I want to say 250 and a five, if that means anything to anyone. Yep. Okay. You're getting them all. You're getting all five, all five of these little small, some of them are half dolls. Some of them are just little, I, I don't know what, even what you want to call them. <laughs> Why don't you do this and you can get them all in the picture a little closer. Look at that. Ooh, now. You zoom in on there you go all right he looks like Charlie Chaplin he does have a little bit of a Charlie Chaplin look to him yes he does Elba I see you at 15 I see Janine at 16 16 we're looking for 17 16 looking for 17 16 going once Oh, I see 17 with Tri-State Picker Mom. 17 with Tri-State Picker Mom. 18 with Janine. 18 with Janine. 18 looking for 19. 18 looking for 19. 19 with Tri-State Picker Mom looking for 20. 19 looking for 20. Looking for 20. 20 with Janine looking for 21. Oh, but, oh wait. I got two people. Oh, blah. okay. Thank you, Cherie, for jumping in at 22 because we had a little, little tie going there. 22 with Cherie. And hello, Cherie. Good to see you again. Uh, 23 with Tri-State Picker Mom. 23. Looking for 24. We are almost at free shipping. We are almost at free shipping, folks. 25 would make it free shipping. 25 would make it free shipping. 23. Looking for 24. There are so many uses for them, right? They're just sweet. Just sweet little historical little dealy bobs. Okay, 23 going once. 23 going twice. And sold. How's your ice pack doing? What do you mean? Are you ready for another one or is that one holding out? 
Uh, I think it's good for another. Okay. Because I'm kind of thinking somebody needs to go check on Priscilla. Okay. Go check on Priscilla. I'll do something bigger so you don't. I won't need you for a few minutes. Priscilla is our baby tortoise who likes to flip herself upside down. And I normally have the, I have the ring camera uh, that I look on my phone throughout the day to check on her. But since we're using it for this, I no can do. So that went to, oh, got a little, little bidding war at the end there. 25 to Tri-State Picker Mom. All right. This thing here is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this as a standalone because I think this might be something special. So we've got the three faces on this. Um, the back really looks, it looks silver to me, but I cannot find a mark. So I'm not going to call it silver. Not going to call it silver. You might know something about this that I don't. Um, it's on a fairly heavy chain. It might be pewter even. It's not, I'm going to say it's not signed. Well, is that, hold on, standby. No, I think there might be a signature on this, but I can't see what it is. So see, I'll just keep this up here so if it'll focus. Where I'm seeing it is, where did I see it? Tarnish really like messes things up. Was it here? Now, where did I see that? Oh, I saw it right here, right, right where my finger is. I'm seeing something. I know it does. It looks, it looks silver, but there, there's a mark. See right there. Kind of, it kind of focused for a minute. You can see what I'm seeing right there. So I don't know. I don't know. You're bidding as you see it. I just thought it was very, very interesting subject matter. And we're at only $5. Oh, magnet test. Where's my magnet? Where's my big heavy magnet? Oh. Wow. I had no idea these had something in them that clung to a magnet. That's bizarre. My jewelry stand sticks to the magnet. Who knew? It does not stick to the magnet. The front. Nope. Nope, not sticking to the magnet. So I don't really know what that means. But yeah, I wish I could make out what that mark said. Wish I could. Wish I could. This could be the deal of the day. All right, I see $17 with a couple of people. I see 20 with Robin. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. 20 with Robin. Mom, if you want to just call this one the three, let's call it the three jesters. I don't know. That's what they look like to me. Maybe they're not. What do you guys think those are? I don't think they're jesters. What are they? They're like theater guys though, right? They do look like theater guys. 22 with Robin. No loop. You know, even with a loop, I, my eyes just aren't what they used to be. You got a popsicle. You munching next to me. I see 35 with Robin. 35 with Robin. Gnome Kings? Is it Gnome Kings? Really? Left is tragedy. So is this like 2020? <laughs> These the faces of 2020. <laughs> I got Robin at 40. Robin at 40. 43 with R. Kelly Lemonade Wholesales. 45 with Robin. Robin knows what she's looking at. You guys know what you're looking at, don't you? 45 with Robin going once. 45 with Robin going twice. and sold. Boy. 
I'm holding my breath here to see who's the winner. Who's the winner? I see Joni said soul. Let's see if I see the same thing as Troy State Figure Mom, who's typing frantically at the moment. Yes, it went to uh, Robin Bowser for $49. Nice buy, Robin. All right, how about a little fun thing? Somebody said something about books. So I've got this cute little Stevenson's Treasure Island by Macmillan's Pocket Classics. And it's got uh, an inscription to Ruth, Ruth Sheppin on the inside from Hammond High School. And let me see if I can see what edition this is. Look at look at the look at the text in this. So sweet. Let's see if I can find a year. Uh, da, 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 da. The Macmillan Company, blah blah blah. Macmillan and Company Limited. Blah blah blah. The Macmillan Company. Yeah, there's no year. No year listed. There's your there's your info page. Gonna start the bidding. One dollar. Anybody? Oh, 1921. 1921. There it is. 1921. Treasure Island, Robert Louis Stevenson. Edited with notes and an introduction by Hiram Albert Vance, PhD, professor of English in the University of Nashville. Little 1921. Oh, and then, then we have. 1902 was the original copyright. Original copyright was 1902, and this is made in 1921. $65 with Lois, sweet little book. Sweet little book. It's not perfect, as you would expect from a 100-year-old book. 99, but who's counting? 100-year-old book. <laughs> yeah, we found it. We found it, Liliana. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat so you see the, the comments come in in the order that they are said in. Yeah, I just thought this was a sweet little book. I'm starting to look for fun little stuff like this as I'm out and about. Stuff, you know, it's not necessarily something I would put on eBay, um, but for those of you who collect or sell stuff like this, I want to bring it to you. I see 15 with Melissa, 20 with Elba, 20 with Elba. Did you, you got like the biggest round. Now you're going to get that wet and then that's going to leave marks for, yeah, put it over there on that side. There we go. If you get this wet, then we can't show stuff off on it. See what I'm talking about? Know what I mean, Gus? Yeah, this isn't, this isn't cold anymore. How was our tortoise? Doing big day. Oh, good. She's tucked away for the day. Our tortoises are all mad today because they went to the vet for their annual checkups yesterday, which was quite traumatic. So they are all pouting today. Elba, I see you at 25 and you now have free shipping. Add another to it and tie a bow around it for your table or shelf. I love that idea. My daughter decorates with books. I got her this big, gigantic dictionary that she just absolutely loves up on her shelf. I, I mean, she's got it open to a page that I personally would not have it open to, but it fits her little millennial world. <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's in the S part of the dictionary. I'll just say that. She's hilarious. Okay, ah, we are up to 27. I know, my little shell dogs. They were not happy. 27 going once, 27 going twice, and sold. Bet my mom likes writing that one down. That's an easy one. It's the only book that I have. It's the only book that I have. Let's get these neck, uh, these bracelets on here. I'm just going to put these all together. Save some time. This is going to be one of those big old combo lots again. Elba, you got that for $27. Nice buy. Okay. All right. We'll get a count here. 
We'll get a count here. Whoops. I'm going to put you <laughs> one a tag off. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. I still couldn't get the string off. Okay. This is a vintage bracelet lot. And we'll get a count of how many pieces. So first is this little stretchy thing. It's a little, it's a little I think it might be a little overstretched. I don't know. Maybe I know some of you can fix stuff up. Then you've got the little cluster faux pearl that's kind of on this meshy, stretchy, meshy stuff. You like my technical terms? I try. Um, this one is interesting. It's kind of on a brass. Oh, I guess I should show it in the camera here. And it's got uh, it's got this kind of a clasp. I know I've already forgotten what you guys call that kind of a clasp. I know you taught me and I've forgotten. Then we've got some pieces. I think I have not checked for marks. This, this might actually be, let's see, is it gold or gold? No, I don't see a gold mark. Oh, um, it got a little, there we go. I fixed it. Just a little dainty little gold tone here. I'm just going to get it over here so she can show it to you. Yeah. Rachel, I am so sorry I knocked your hand again. I don't even know where this would be marked if it was. Let's see. Nope, it does not stick. Fold over clasp. Thank you. Thank you. This one, I don't know. It's I don't find a mark and it doesn't stick to the magnet. Come on. Oh, no. Scoop finished his millet. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. Possible, possibly gold. That one possibly is gold. Not going to guarantee it. You're not going to buy it as gold because I'm not going to say it's gold. This is marked. This is a little Avon. It's a little Avon piece. Just cute. Uh, this one... This one is like, I don't know what, what you call the little S stuff there. This one is possibly silver. Possibly silver. Yeah, I'm like, I'm looking at the clasp though, and there's really not even any place where they could mark it on the clasp. Oh, this one, okay, this one sticks to the magnet. This one sticks to the magnet, so that means it's not silver, right? If it sticks, it's not silver. I think that's what I learned. You see this one, this next one does not stick. And I'm thinking this one is silver. Oh, this one's marked. This one is marked 925. This one is marked 925. And it is tarnished. It's going to need a little. It's marked. Find it. It's marked right behind my thumb there. Oh, come on. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Oh, it just doesn't want to focus. Okay. Maybe Rachel, see the mark right there? That's what they need to see. And then this one is, I don't even know what you call that little claspy thing. Oh, wait, that's got a mark on it too. What does that say? Coro. This is a Coro. This is a Coro bracelet. We'll get a count here in just a second. And then this one is like to insert photos. I should have done this in the locket lot. But it's, you can put photos all the way around this one. And this one is not, wait, oh, yep. This is made by Cookie Lee. This is a Cookie Lee. Oh, I know that's a good brand. I know that's a good brand. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the 10 bracelet lot. Oh, I love it. We are already up to $35. Good, good, good. You guys know what you're looking at, right? Yay. All right. So we are 36 with Mary. Hello, Mary. Good to see you. 36 with Mary. Looking for 37. 40 with Christine. 40 with Christine. We're looking for 41. 40. 40, 40, 40 going once. 
40, 40, 40. I got Robin with 41. 41 with Robin. 41 with Robin looking for 42. I haven't seen Cookie Lee stuff for a while. 41 looking for 42. And we are at free shipping for anybody who wants to play on this. Uh, 41 looking for 42. 41 going once. Going twice. 42 with Christine. 42 with your. Okay, I'm going to start dropping the hammer a little bit faster here. We are at uh, 42. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Here, can you just put all of those over on that? Thank you. All right. Is that a text that just came through? I have no idea. Let me turn my phone go blue. We keep getting a lot of texts. Uh, it happens. It happens. It might be Jessica saying goodbye. All right. That was sold to Christine Peroni for $42. That was lot number 13. Okay, this is going to be the last lot to qualify for the giveaway drawing at the end. So if you want to get your name into that drawing, bid it to win it. All right, we're gonna do some vintage, um, and I'm just gonna put you on the screen after the first one because I think you can show them better. Vintage Olympics pins. So first we have, this is Soul, 1988 get right up close for them get right up close there you go soul 1988 this is atlanta 1996 we have atlanta 1996 atlanta 1996 and we have this just says xerox with the olympic symbols show them that one i got Oh, and this is AT&T, so they must have been sponsors at some point. Then we got 2002 Salt Lake City with the Betty Crocker symbol. This one is Centennial Olympic Games, Atlanta, 1996. Oh, was Atlanta the Centennial? Like, I, I think that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I've got several of those. Got one more. One more. I'm trying to get the string off of it. Hang on. I'm going to show it to you. Suspense. All right. And then there's the last one. It's a little torch. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Olympic pins. Nine Olympic pins. I got Denise at nine dollars. Denise is at nine dollars. We're looking for ten. Nine looking for ten. Going once. You're gonna make them seasick. I'm not trying to. <laughs> you gotta get steady, girl. You gotta get steady. Here, you just put, just come down lower and rest your arm on the. Okay. Like in that zoom in so far. Well, you, you gotta. You, they want to zoom in. They want to see. They want to see. I did zoom in. You're gonna stay zoomed in. Keep showing them. All right. <laughs> the future Vanna here. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, now they've jumped it up to eighteen dollars. See, thank you for me like having to talk to you there. That made the bidding go up to eighteen dollars. <laughs> Nineteen dollars with Peggy. $19 with Peggy. $22 with R. Kelly Lemonade Wholesalers. I'm just going to call you R. Kelly. R. Kelly's at $22. Actually, I saw Peggy at $22 first. Oops, sorry. I saw Peggy at $22 first. It just, it just showed me that. $24. There we go. There we go. Next bit is, is free shipping. Basically, here's what I do to you guys. If you are at... 23 or $24 is a winning bid. I'm not going to charge you like the full shipping. We're going to just bump it up to 25 and call it free shipping. But we are at free shipping anyway with R. Kelly at 25. So that's how we do that. 25 going once. 26 with Peggy. We got a little bidding war going here. 26 with Peggy. 26 with Peggy going once going twice and 
sold. Let's see what happens in the little lag time. Little lag time, little lag time. I'm waiting for Joni to put the soul. There we go. That went to Peggy Kinney for $26. Peggy, have you emailed me yet? Be sure you send me an email. If you have not done so already, I'm not seeing a recent email from you. So Peggy, if you could send an email with your YouTube name, your real name, if it's different, and your mailing address and your PayPal um, email address. I would really appreciate that. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, because I'm kind of keeping an eye on that screen over there, so I will see it come through. All right. And if anybody wants to do a quick refresh before we start this next item so that you have the shortest lag possible, and then make sure you get back into live chat. And Joni, that was the end for the the giveaways at the end, just FYI. Just a little heads up on that. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right. I absolutely love this next item. But you guys tell me, I think, I don't know. I think it's a pendant. Don't you think the chain would go right in here? I think so. Oh, yeah. And then no, it would string up. Belt. No, because see, you can't see what I was seeing yet. I'll show you, I promise. No. I, I think the chain would have gone up through that. So this is a pendant by Raza. So you guys go look up what Raza pendants, necklaces. Just go go put in Raza in souls and sort by highest first and see what comes up. Some of these sell for buku bucks this guy is a pendant he is a pendant we're going to sell him on his own let me show you the back that i was showing rachel so i think the chain would probably run on this bar between his horns but he's also got those two little places for chain to run through on the top here you go you can see it is signed uh there we go. Signed Raza. He's just the coolest. I love him so much. The buffalo. So technically, he's a bison, but I still like to call him buffalo. Anyway, let's start some bidding on the Raza buffalo. Because I'm just going to call him a buffalo. Look, it looks like he's my face. Look at that. I have a buffalo face. Oh, okay. It's not really funny, is it? Uh, oh, there's a power bid. Nancy Hammerly knows what she's looking at. $20 with Nancy. $20 with Nancy. I'm going to say going once. I like to honor those power bids, like slamming those hammer down, going twice. Oh, Steph came in at 25 Now we got a little bidding more. You guys went and looked this up, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. They can bring some really good money. There's a lot of the lions out there. I couldn't really find a buffalo. I got Mary at 30. Mary at 30. Mary at 30. We can do $1 or like you guys are doing, you can put it wherever you want it. We got 30 going once. 30 going twice. Look at the size on this. Like, there's my hand. Like, look at the substantialness of this piece. Look at him. He's magnificent. Did I say going twice? I'm saying going twice. Ah, I got two people came in at 33. Two people in at 33. I'm not sure. He's got like, maybe that's where the, I don't know what that is on the top. Make sure you see everything. It's not a chip. He's just got like some little extra form to him up there. Arlene, I think you must be lagging. You, Arlene, please, please refresh and go into live chat. Ah, Melissa is at 40. Yeah, you guys went and did a little research, didn't you? <laughs> okay, 40, 41 with R. Kelly. 41 with R. Kelly. And this would be free shipping, free domestic shipping. 
Bull with nose ring. Yep. 41. It's going once. 44 with Melissa. 44 with Melissa. It's going once. 46 with R. Kelly. You guys don't want me to drop that hammer, do you? 46. 60. We got another power bid there. Peachy Panilli. However you say that. Peachy. I'm just going to call you Peachy. We got Peachy at 60. Peachy is at 60. Going once. Going twice on the power bid. And sold. Let's get these going too here while uh, we are waiting for the final tally on that. And there is, oh, I think I saw, I think I saw Cherie sneak in there. Yes, Cherie, you grabbed it at $65. Cherie got right in there. All right, let's do another fun little lot of collectible pins. Oh, good. Noah can go check on Priscilla because he just came out of his room. I think this might have a date on it, but I can't quite make it up. Okay, so we have got in this lot, there's going to be several. Um, Mom, this is going to be the lot, the pin lot that includes Sylvester and Tweety. Sylvester and Tweety. These are like enamel pins. Okay. Put her on there. This is the lot that's going to have the Planet Hollywood pin. Orlando. Planet Hollywood Orlando. And we have got we've got the Alamo. We've got Jack Daniels, Tennessee Whiskey, right there. Yes, yes, yes. And the email, you guys, is scrolling right across the screen there. Oh, as I keep that running. I'm not sure on this guy. Who is he? Who is he? Ah, uh, focus. Who are you? Anybody know this character? If I can get it. Come on, camera. Come on. All right, maybe Rachel will have a better better look at that. Show him that one. So I can figure out who he is. I don't know who he is. And then this has a, a Johnny Walker stick pin. Johnny Walker stick pin. Why does it do that? Why does it want to focus on things that it should not be focusing on? Come on, camera. Right here. Nope. It says nope. Not going to do it. It started to do it right. It's I started. know. It's so frustrating. And then, now, these are actually, hmm, these are actually uh, Olympic pins, but they're Coca-Cola pins. So I didn't get those in the Olympics lot, so they are going in this lot. But they're Beijing 2002. Izzy mascot of Atlanta Olympics. Okay, so there's three Olympic pins in here as well, two of which are Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. So one, two, you don't need my hair in there. Look at that. No DNA. We don't send DNA. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine collectible pins. We have a bid of 25 going already for R. Kelly. That means free shipping. Free shipping. Free shipping on this lot. So you guys keep track of who wins this and maybe you can talk amongst yourself. If there's like one pin, you can maybe reach out to the person who has purchased and uh, make a deal. 26 with Lois, 26 with Lois. 
because I'm fairly sure most of you are buying stuff to resell. So there you go. Okay, I got 26 going once. 29 with R. Kelly. R. Kelly really wants these pins. R. Kelly going once. R. Kelly going twice. And I'm not going to say who sold, but I'm going to say sold. And we're going to wait and see if we had any little last action come in there that I don't know about yet. All right. Keep you guys separate from the other ones here. Here you go right up. Those went to our Kelly Lemonade Wholesales for $29. That includes free shipping. And our Kelly Lemonade, if you could please send an email to, there it is, the niche lady at gmail.com and let me know your real name and your YouTube name so I can connect the two and your shipping address and your PayPal preferred email address. I would appreciate that. I'll keep a, a little watch over there for you to do that. So um, we make sure we got everything under control. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we wanted some vintage jewels. Vintage jewels. These are the ones I'm going to sell them as faux pearls because I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. They have the weight. I did not do the grit test. I've never been very good at that. Um, they do have this clasp. And I know you guys know what that's called. I do not. They have, um, and I'm going to let Rachel show this. I think these are double knotted. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure if that's here. I'm going to put you on there and show them like the in between the pearls there because I know that has some significance. So you're going to get two strands of these vintage pearls, faux pearls. We're just going to call them faux. If they turn out to be real, I will be thrilled for you. But I'm not going to guarantee any realness. There's the clasp on this one as well as you can see there how they are I think that's what they call double knotted right is that double knotted and I heard that that was a sign of you know a quality strand so I you're gonna get looking at that or anything well I needed to put them both on there there you go <laughs> okay show them the pearls show them the pearls both are a little different color Oh, we've already got $20 with Janine. $20 with Janine. $20 on the pearls. The pearl necklaces. Double knotted, yes. Thank you. Yeah. I know I know just enough. I know just enough to know how to buy the stuff and don't know enough to know how to list the stuff for sale. That's why I do the jewelry here. Honestly, I don't want to have to come up with all those item specifics because it boggles my brains. Those of, those of you who know jewelry and can rattle that stuff off, I'm about to you. <laughs> 31 with Lois. 31 with Lois. 31 with Lois going once. Ah, we got two came back in at 35. I'm showing that Janine came in first. Um, Peggy broke the tie at 36. So I got Peggy at 36. Peggy at 36 going once. Peggy at 36. Oh, Janine's back in at 40. We got a little bidding war going now. 40. 40, 40, 40, 40. Looking for 41, 41, 41, 41, 40, 40, 40, 40. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Uh, I can't be an auctioneer. <laughs> I don't even know how they do that. I got 41 with Peggy. 45 with Janine. This is what I like to see. A battle. A battle for the win. Janine is at 45. 
Janina 45. We're going to say going once. Oh, Peggy came back in at 47. Peggy's back in at 47. 47. 49 with Janine. 49 with Janine. 49 with Janine. Going once. 49 with Janine. Going twice. And of course, these are free shipping. And if we are going to say sold. Let's see. Let's see if we had any like action right there at the end. Holding my breath. Oh, looks like Peggy snuck back in at $50. Is that what you are seeing, Tri State Picker Mom? And Peggy, I see that I do have your info over there. So thank you, Peggy Kenny at 50 bucks. Nice buy. Let's see. Let's do some animals. Let's do some animals. And I think, no, yeah. Let's do the little animals. All right. What you are getting in this lot is you are getting... A lion. Now, I think he might be a knife rest. Yeah, maybe. Or a chopstick rest. I don't know. But he's got, whoops, he's got a tag that says royal. So he is a royal porcelain lion. But he, I think he might be like a knife rest. And then we have a little bird. He's a bird. And he's, I believe he is Mexican pottery. Mexican pottery bird. He's not signed Mexico like most of them are unless at one point it was on this little weak point on the bottom that maybe used to be covered. I don't know, but you're going to get him. And we got this cute little snail. Look at the snail. He's so adorable. He's kind of got a little high gloss finish there. Looks like maybe he could be a Hagen Reneker. Looks like he used to be on a card. I don't know. You guys can go do your, your research real quick and see if he's a Hagen Reneker. So you're going to get him. He might. Mm, the end of his little tail is like, it feels a little rough, but I'm not going to call it. I can coordinate my hands here. I'm not going to call it shift, but it looks like it might just the very, very teeny it's just it's just ever so slightly rough. All right. And then you're going to get this little guy who is, he's a little mouse. He's a little mouse. I don't know what he's made of. I think he's clay. I think he's a little clay mouse. Yes. I can barely hold on to him. He's so tiny. There we go. And get him. And last but not least, you are going to get an armadillo. An armadillo. Mom, it looks like he's a painted rock. Is it a painted rock? I don't know. And this armadillo is signed right there. But I'm going to let Rachel show you your close-ups as you get to bidden. Looks like we are at $10 with Melissa. $10, $12 with Nancy. You're getting them all. You're getting them all. I don't know. He might be. He might be a Hagen Reneker. Egg and Reneker snail. Yep. It's not bad. Like, really, you really got to. I felt it before I even saw it. I had to look hard to find that. $15 with Melissa. $15 with Melissa. Mousey mouse. So cute. $16 with Nancy. $16 with Nancy. They are cute. I know. But I'll just put all those little critters together for you. He's cute. I don't put any of this little small stuff down at the booth anymore uh, because there's nobody that is really there to help get into a locked case. And I don't want to see stuff stolen. So I'm bringing all my small stuff home and selling it to you guys. That's what I'm doing. All right. 18 with Melissa going once. 
18 with Melissa going twice. Yeah, he was a little souvenir, probably from Texas. And we are going to call these guys sold. All right. Can you find them a home that direction? Let's see. I keep forgetting I got all this jewelry down here. Okay. I promised a cameo. Now this is not a shell cameo. This is like a Wedgwood. It's like a Jasperware. I've got three stick pins in this lot. So you're going to get this one, this one. I don't know. Did Wedgwood make stick pins? So you're going to have to show them the fronts and the backs. And then you're going to get what? I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. And then this little butterfly and butter butterfly. This butterfly, I just noticed, does have a little chip on the tip of the wing. So take note of that. Okay. Do I see any more? Yeah, this one's marked. See if you can make out what that says on the back of that one. And then this one is, oh, this is really marked. Oh, standby. This says something hall 76. What does that say? Okay, let me show it to you first. It's a cricket. It is a cricket. And it's, it is really marked. See, let's see if we can make out what that says. A G. Wait. something something pan pan some I don't know you guys tell me what that says oh I can make out this 1976 and I do believe he's I think this says Trafari. does it say oh is this Trafari the butterfly is Trafari butterfly is Trafari does it say Traf I think it does say Trafari look at that Good eye. Good eye, Rachel. There we go. All right. You're getting all three. All three for one money. R-G-I-O-N-E Family Hall. Yeah, I don't know. Down there. I think he's pewter. Pretty sure he's pewter. 26 with Lois. 26 with Lois. On the three little stick pins. 26 going once. 26 going twice. And we are going to call this lot so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the cricket or grasshopper or whoever he is. He's awesome. Love him. I would love to know if you know something about him. Because I don't research anything. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Any interest in my vintage Cliff House seal salt and pepper shakers from the Cliff House restaurant? I don't know if the Cliff House is still going, but it was from San Francisco. San oh, Francisco. Nice. So the little vintage seals, they're marked Japan. They have their corks. That last lot was sold to Melissa for $28. $28. Van Newell Hall, Boston. What meaning does that have? Though? What was the cricket significance? Hmm. All right. Let's go with the seals. Starting at a dollar. Any interest? $5 with Melissa. It is on top of building. Hmm. I'd have to look that one up. $5 to Melissa. Any other interest? We'll say going once. We'll say going twice. Yeah, we'll say sold. There we go. That's how we do that. How about a little Zuni ring? 
I don't saw one bid come on that one. So I'm pretty sure that went to Melissa. This is a small ring. I could wear it as a pinky ring. All right. There we go. This is Zuni with turquoise and mother of pearl. And there we go. Oh, and a little bit of coral, I think, is on this one. Come on. Oh, come on, camera. You know you want to. You know you want to see it clearly. I think we're going to get a bit over to Rachel to get the clear shot. We'll give it over to Rachel to get the clear shot. And it is. Sign. I want to say sign. I'm pretty sure this one's sign 925. I think that's what I see in there. Again, I I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you look closer, okay? I hear scoop. I know I hear scoop too. This is a four and a half. This ring is a four and a half. Okay, pretty sure it's silver. Rachel is going to try to see the marks inside for you. Here we go. There he is. It is Zuni. Um, what do we got going on over there? We got to sort something out. Mary Fielder won the stick pins. Okay. Are we okay over there, guys? Kind of seeing some or a midi ring. Yes, I keep forgetting that a midi ring is a thing. Midi ring is a thing. The metal. That's what. Show them. Show them the inside to look for the mark. That's what I was. I'm trying. fairly certain it's silver. I think it was sold to me as silver at the auction house. Um, but we're gonna. Here. See if we can. Now the mark would not be on this part. It would be on the band. It would be on the inside of the band. Why don't you use your little eyes and see if you can see real quick. Because it tarnishes. And that, I know that makes it hard to don't see. see. Mark. Let's see. Hold the camera. Hold that for a second. Yeah, where's my loop? Where's my little loop-de-doop? Oh, I've got it on my black light because I was looking at glowy glass. Glowy glass is fun. Let me see. Let's see if I see a mark. Yeah. Oh, come on. Where am I? There is a mark. It's a, it's, gosh, what is it? It's kind of one of those picture marks. I'm not even sure how to describe it. So it is a Native American piece. Gosh, I wish I had a way to show you this, this mark. It almost looks like hmm, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to guess what that looks like, but it is marked. It is signed by the artist. It is signed by the artist. <laughs> so this is a that is a native piece. Believe it is Zuni. Do believe it is Zuni. All right, where are we at? We're $30 with Arlene. <laughs> yeah, you guys, sometimes the comments don't, like, you're going to see your comments differently. So if there's um, a description, that's kind of why we, like, try to keep with the two different moderators, one calls sold, one calls who the winner is, because that's, that's pretty much an accurate view of how, the, how it goes through. So 35 with Melissa. Yeah, I can't guarantee that it's 925. 
can't guarantee it. It's an auction. I don't guarantee anything to be anything. Yep. Uh, we're at 35 with Melissa going once. 35 with Melissa going twice. I could possibly be a polar bear. That's what I was trying. I was almost going to say it looked like a bear, but I, I can't say for sure. And then I was like, is it mountains? I can't. It's it's so tiny that it's really, really hard to tell. And I'm going to say sold. So maybe it's not Zuni. Maybe I'm wrong in my Zuni attribution. I don't think Carrie's here today, is she? No Carrie for the rosaries. So I'll hold off on those until the next one. That went to Melissa for $35. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, he is Zuni. Zuni Myron Pantea or Pantea. Awesome. Oh, Carrie's here. I can do rosaries. <laughs> awesome. I pulled off some nice ones. Okay. Who wants my angry kitty? I got my little angry kitty here. And you're going to get the, the not so angry. Siamese. They're all Siamese. I think this is Lefton. I, that's a fairly common type of mark for Lefton. Um, so you're getting the getting the pair of the Siamese kitty kitties. Okay. And then you're going to get my favorite little angry kitty. I don't know who. I, I haven't tried to clean him. I'm sure that little schmooge would come off. Um, I should have cleaned him up before this. But he's not marked. Well, is he? No. It's not marked. He's old. You can just tell by the, the, the wear on his feet. He's old, but ah, that face. Look at that face. I love him so much. <laughs> so you are going to get, you can give that a rest right now because these are big. So you're going to get both of the kitties. If I don't knock them together, both of them, for one money, pretty sure he'll clean up. We're at $16 with Melissa. $16.21 with Melissa. There's Power Bid. She wants the kitties. <laughs> I want a real Siamese. That's what I want. I know. I'm not adding any more animals right now. No. No. Good. No. We have, we have birds and guinea pigs. So cats probably wouldn't fit in too good here. Ah, he does look a little bit like the Aristocats from Disney, doesn't he? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Meow, meow. 30 with River Mist 80. We are at 30 with River Mist 80. We are at 30 going once. We are going twice. And sold. And I see the sold. Oh, looks like we might have had a little action at the end there. Tiger Purple. Tiger Purple at $32 on the kitties. Tiger Purple, I don't know. Have you emailed me your info before? Make sure. Um, you send me your real name, your YouTube name, and your PayPal address and your shipping info to the niche lady at gmail.com. Okay, Carrie, this one's for you. She is my she is my rosary girl. <laughs> These are some pretty nice ones. What's rosary? This is a rosary. It's with the, the Catholics. They use these for prayer. All right. So there's going to be five rosaries. Let's see. How do I tell my mom to differentiate these from any other lots that we're going to do? Hmm. 
Um, mom just called. This is the one with black, black, blue, red, and white. Black, blue, red, and white. There we go. Okay. So you're going to get this one. I don't know what kind of beads these are, but they feel a little bit like wood. Okay. I'm going to let Rachel show you the bead work a little closer. I don't know if the crucifix part is silver. It's possible. Did you try it on the magnet? I did not try it on the magnet. This one, you got these little, little like rosebud bead things going here. Oops. There's the cross. Okay, put that one over there. Oops. And then the white one. These, again, I'm not sure. They don't feel like plastic. Oops, I guess I should show you, right? Keep forgetting I'm only half screen. There's the crucifix. There's those beads. Get close up and show the beads and kind of help them figure out what they are. This is another with black beads. Okay. Those are shiny. Those are shiny beads. And then the last one actually has its tag still. It says America needs Fatima on the tag. And on the back it says made in Italy. This one is made in Italy. And this has the blue, the blue stones. There is the crucifix on this one. All right, you're getting all five. All five, one money, and we are at 20, I see 28, 30 with Carrie. Oh, no, 30 with Christine. Jumped in a little bit before you, Carrie. So I see 30 with Christine. I see Lisa at 35. Lisa at 35. I see 40 with Christine. 40 with Christine. 40 with Christine. Okay, Our Lady of Fatima is an appearance of Mother Mary. Gotcha. All right. I see 40 going once. Going twice. Oh, got some more bidding coming in. 42, 42. Oh, 43 with Christine. 43 with Christine. 43 with Christine is what I see as the high bid. Going once. Going twice up. Oh, Mary got some more bidding. Ah, uh, Terry, Christine beat you at the 45. She was just ahead of you. Uh, I'm at 45 with Christine. 45 with Christine. Do you, somebody want to jump back in at 46? And these are free domestic shipping at this point. Free domestic shipping. Uh, Teresa is at 48. Christine is at 49. Christine is at 49. 49 going once, going twice, sold. And it looks like we've got a winner. Oh. Set me straight. Mm -hmm. We're going to let Tri-State Picker Mom call that. Yeah, thank you, Alba. Yeah, they're absolutely, they, they're worth the money. They're worth the money. So, lot 23 went to Teresa. I'm not going to say your last name. <laughs> uh, for $50, Teresa, if you haven't done so already, and I'm not seeing an email from you. If you could please send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com with your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. If you could do that now, we'll keep an eye and um, 
make sure that we got you while I can still talk to you. Because sometimes what happens is if you don't send that over during the live stream, and I have no way to find you. And that we almost had somebody not get their bracelet last time because she was emailing the wrong email address. And finally, she commented on one of my videos and we, we got connected up. So thank goodness. So I'm going to do something fun. Because I need a short little break. So I'm going to let you auction your artwork. Why? Because... You're gonna do it. All right, you guys up for that? Rachel, you don't, okay. If you, I, I have to run over there for a second. I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Okay, so she's gonna hold it up, she's gonna be shy, but this is, this is Fred, and you're gonna be bidding on Rachel's. This is hand-painted by a future listed artist. Rachel is going to be a listed artist one Can day. take off that camera and do this camera? Nope. Why? Nope. Just come up. Just hold it over here. Just hold it in front of the camera, and I will be right back. All right. And then you got to watch the chat and tell them where they're at. Go. Mean mama. You tell them how mean I am. Make sure you're in um, live chat. It's on wood. I don't hear you talking. Talk to him. Mm. It's your art. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's acrylic paint on wood. This is hurting my arm. Can you guys hear her? She's using acrylics on this one. Yes, acrylic. This is actually her fish. This is Fred. So the title of this painting is Fred. <laughs> All right, look at they're up to $26 for your artwork, Rachel. $26 for your artwork. $28 with Wendy. We're at $28 with Wendy. 28 for 29 with gleeful treasures. 29 with gleeful treasures. 30 with Melissa. You're 30. 30 dollars on your artwork. Honestly, if she goes to the places she wants to go with her art, this little thing right here could be worth thousands one day. I know I'm trying to get her to make me some logo work. Yes. Yes, she does fantastic work. She's very shy. Woo! And dropping my phone again. <laughs> at least I was holding on Yikes. to the longer. All right, we're at 33 with Wendy. 33 with Wendy. Oh, they want you to, we should make some t-shirts with Fred. We could do that. Fred is cool. Fred, when, he's the friendliest fish. Like, he comes right up to the top when we go there to feed him. We can hand feed him. He's a cool fish. Fred is fun. Going places with the niche lady. I like that. All right. We're going to say going once. Going twice. And... Sold! Yay! You sold your very first piece of art! Thank you, everyone.
he is really nice. He's, she does really good work. Okay, I did those. I did those. How about, I'm pretty sure this guy, yeah, this is, does that say 925? That says 9, does that say 925? Yes, it says 925. I'm making sure it says 925 before I even show it to you. So that went to Wendy Melton for $33, your very first piece of art. Yay. All right. I know. Take a picture for your portfolio. We will. Well, we could screen capture too here. How about a sterling silver cat ring? He is marked 925. You see he's chasing his way around a little finger there. Let's see what size he is. Or she. I don't know. Maybe it's a she. This is a seven and a half. You stay put. It is a seven and a half on the sizer. Here you go, little kitty cat. Little kitty cat, and he is signed. So we're gonna show them on the inside of the band. Let's see if we can get it to focus. We're gonna have to try to get really close up inside the band. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. That is marked 925. Okay, now I'm just showing the kitty cat. There we go. We're at 34. 34. Lois is at 34. I see Nancy at 35. Nancy at 35. 35. Looking for 36 with Lois. 36 with Lois. He's pretty heavy too. I should have a gram scale for like selling this good jewelry. He's a pretty heavy piece of sterling. So. I can weigh it. That doesn't do grams. Jewelry is done in grams. What does it do? That does ounces. Oh. Yeah. So my water bottle is four ounces. Your water bottle One is. Pound is four yes. <laughs> so I uh, see River Mist 80 at 40. River Mist 80 is at 40. Keeps Forty going once. Can you go real close to see the cat design? That's what they're asking. It gets blurry. That's okay. Just hold it still. Just hold it still. There we go. I see forty dollars, Marcella. You are a little behind. Make sure if you just came in, you are in live chat and not top chat. Live chat. Make sure you're toggled onto live chat up at the top of the chat. You just got to hold really still. Oops. Hold real still so the camera can focus. Still, 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 still. Sometimes you can go, boop. Come on, camera. Okay, back off a little bit. There we go. Turn him so you can see. He's chasing a little, little tail around. All right, I think that's about as good as we can get close up. Where are we at? I'm still at 40, going once. Going twice. And sold. Right. Turn it back on here. What should we do next? We will do some more oh, roses. Oh, we had a little snipe action, I think, coming in there. A little snipe action. Let's see if I see the same thing. Yep, Heather Matchasek for $43. And Heather, I think, did I see an email from you already? If not, if you have not emailed me, Heather, if you can send over an email real quick with your your name, if, and if it's different than your YouTube username, make sure I know your real name and your YouTube name and your email address for PayPal and your shipping address. All right. 
I hate saying those last names wrong. Uh oh, your daughter just stole your niche lady cross necklace from you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, if you sent me one, yeah, you can wait until the end then. You can just wait till the end and let me let me know what you want. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of her. Okay, this lot of rosaries, I'm saying this for my mom who's writing everything down. This is going to be the white, crystal, purple, and black. White, crystal, purple, and black. So this first one, I am not sure what these beads are. They feel like they could be glass. They're not a white white. They're a little bit of an off white. And here is, oh, come back here. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. There's the, thought I saw this one was signed on the back. This one is signed. I think it's, it might say Italy. Yes, this one is signed Italy on the back of the crucifix. Okay, then this white one. Your phone isn't happy. My phone's not happy. It's probably getting warm, huh? Well, this ice pack is doing a really good job. So here's this one with these, these beads here. Okay. And then here are the one. Now this doesn't have a crucifix at the end. It just has these metals here. Let's see if I can. There he is. You can see this one. And then you've got these little black beads. This one more Saint Anthony. This is Saint Anthony. I'm being stared at. Yes, we have a doggy. And then this one is like some little crystal. I'm not sure. I think they're glass. I do think these are glass, glass beads. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get it to where you can see. Focus, 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 focus. Is this one signed. This one also says Italy on the back. Okay. And then last but not least, I love these dainty little purple beads. Look at these little purple, purple swirls, little purple swirls. There is the, whoops, where am I? There I am. A little crucifix doesn't want to focus and I don't have my hand free here there we go gosh darn it and this one is not marked okay so that's what you're getting all five all five one money looks like we are already up to 25 26 30 dollars with Christine I'm at 30 with Christine Looks like a couple of you might have some lag going that or you're in top chat and not in live chat. Make sure you are in live chat. Live chat. It's very important. Very important to be in live chat. Let's see. I'm uh, 35 with Christine. You're a little behind on that one, Carrie. 35 with Christine. Thirty-seven, third. Ah, I see forty. Forty with Bobby. Forty with Bobby. Forty-five with Christine. Forty-five with Christine. Oh, good job showing it on the contrast of the black there. Yes, they're all very nice ones. Forty-five is what I see going once. I think you're trying to say 47, Terry. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You switch from top chat to live chat at the very top of the chat column. Uh, if, if you're on a phone, I'm not sure where it is. Not sure. 
uh, $50 with Christine, $50, 51 with Bobby, 51 with Bobby, 52 with Christine, got a little bidding war, 52 with Christine, going once, going twice. Does anyone else who's on a phone know how you switch from the um, top chat to the live chat? I am not sure. We are going to call these sold. Good job, Rachel. You are a helper and a half. It's between pick and chat. Ah, okay. Christine got those for $52. $52. Okay, something fun. Just something fun. This is a laurel birch. Just a small plate. It's not a saucer. It is a plate. You can see on the back there. Laurel birch. Or would you guys like me to do this as a giveaway? Would you like this to be one of the giveaways? Because I'll hold it off and do it as a giveaway. If you would like. As a freebie at the end. Let me know. Because it's kind of heavy. So I kind of like to do that if I can. I will make that one of my one of giveaways. Okay. We'll do it as a giveaway. And you know what? I'm going to do those as a giveaway also. He's going to be a giveaway. To piggies. Okay. All right. Good. What about the piggies? He's, he's going to be a giveaway too. Okay. I've got this jewelry here that I'm not sure much about it. I know one of them is a Mason's at least. Um, this one is just a little eagle and, and shield there. And then this is the Mason's. Oops. Let me close it so I don't stab myself. I think this, I think that's like the Eastern star. Is that Mason's or is it something else? You guys tell me. Ah, uh, you can see it. It's got a 50 on it. Come on, focus. All right, we're gonna let Rachel do it. Let me show them and then I'll and then I'll bring yours up. I recognize this, but I don't remember from where. Yeah, I know. Is it on the back of quarters? Well, that that's the federal eagle symbol. Yeah, so you see that in a lot of places. This one, it's very interesting. I am not sure on this what. Hi, I'm so discombobulated on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because I, I'm not. I know. I need to bring you on. Just you hush. <laughs> Let me show them, and then I'll bring you on. And then I have no idea what T F H S stands for with a uh, 58. So we're gonna go with it. Well, I will bring you on so you can show them all the lovelies close up. All right. Ladies Auxiliary to Masons. Ah, okay. The Eastern Star. Gotcha. Does it have FOP? What is FOP? I don't know. What is FOP? What are they talking this, about? No, not this one. This one. This is the one that I want to see. I think. That one, I'm not sure what FOP is. Oh, it's a high school class of 58, a high school pin. Ah, that would be this one. Show them this one again. That's the one, something high school. All right, what's the TF, TF high school? Hmm. Fraternal order of police. Uh, you mean on which one? Now I'm not, I'm confused now on this one. No, I'm not sure what that is on the top of that one. 
oh, it's a it's a man it's a man wearing a helmet kind of I think. Can you see that? See, he's wearing some kind of a helmet, and it's like a torch. So I'm not sure. Which one? No one. It's not marked. Which one are you asking about? It having FOP. The Order of the Eastern Star is a Masonic appendant body open to both men and women. It was established in 1850 by lawyer and educator Rob Morris. Ah, okay. Twin Falls High School. Okay, all right. High bid is at 40. Thank you, Tri-State Picker Mom, for, uh, yeah, it does look a little Roman, doesn't it? All right, that, you're getting a magic CM. I got $40 going once. Going twice. And sold. Oh, so Joni just said be right back. So hopefully, Joni, you can write sold before you left. <laughs> or we could be in trouble. You could write if Joni it. isn't there, um, Okay, we're going to go with a lot. 27 went to Nancy Hammerly at $40. All right, we're going to go with it. Very nice. I'm kind of running out of my fun stuff now. Ooh. Okay, I have hesitated on selling this because I love it so much. And I've got a little bit into it, so... This is like a 1960s, it's metal, check this out, it's hinged, look at that, it folds out, it's just sweet as could be, it's got a little, little dirty inside, not, it looks worse on the camera than it is, it actually is not dirty, that's just a little wear, it's velvet, that is velvet lined, so you can see that's just a little bit where the jewelry used to sit, it's actually not dirty at all, and the back has this little thing that keeps it lined up when it closes right it's in good shape there is the flowers with the little rhinestones on it and there's the bottom so rachel wants to be vanna so i am going to let her be vanna on this one looks like we are at 14 dollars with old stuff beth texas this is a sweet little jewelry box i just love it oh. yeah it's not really a one-handed kind of a thing is it i see um kathleen you are behind a little bit i see i'm arlene is that i'm gonna let you confirm that bid because I'm not sure you meant to type 50 on that. I see Marcella at 20. Teresa, it looks like you are lagging a little behind. Everybody make sure you are in live chat and not top chat. Live chat, not top chat. Arlene, you would need to confirm your bid. Confirm your bid, please. So we know you didn't just put the wrong numbers there. Let's just let's just let's just leave it there. We've seen it now. All right, and I think my chat just kind of froze for a second. All right, Arlene is not confirming her bid. So right now I see. Oh, Arlene, um, you need to refresh and make sure you are, we're live right now. So if you went back and started from back, then you're way behind. So make sure you refresh. Janine is at 25. Janine is at 25. I know I, YouTube give you the ability to go back and, you know, start a live stream earlier, which seems a little crazy to me because then you're, you're yeah you're not here with us <laughs> 28 with lois 29 with janine 29 with janine 
30 with old stuff, Beth, Texas. I'm so glad you guys appreciate what this is. Um, it's like I said, I've held on to it for a couple of weeks because I have never seen one like this and it's just the sweetest thing. 30 going once. It is. It's like it's velvet. Yeah, it's velvet inside going twice. And so all right we're gonna have another pin lot some very interesting pins in this one too oh how did that get trapped on there? Oh, oh there we go. Had three days of me doing my I know you're excited. I'll be doing your dishes all week again. It's all good. Your help is invaluable. Ooh, I could have put this one with that last lot. Now that I look, okay. That went to River Mist eighty uh, for thirty two dollars and River Mist eighty. Make sure you have emailed. I'm kind of looking over at my email. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't I don't see an email right off the bat doesn't mean you didn't do it just means I don't see it because I'd have to kind of look in so uh, river mist 80 please email me at the niche lady at gmail.com with your real name your YouTube name and your shipping address and PayPal preferred email address Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, there's there's several of you, I think, that kind of came in late that started like maybe watching from the beginning or, uh, and you're probably not going to hear this if you're watching from the beginning, so I'm not sure why I'm even saying it, but um, I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, we need to all like be here live and in live chat and, and refresh. Wendy, did I receive your email? I did. I sure did. I see it. Yes. Okay, this is going to be another pin lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to differentiate this one, Mom. Let me think. Let me think. Um, oh, we'll do it by this one. What does that say on the back? Rachel's going to give us a, a word. Gallery Originals. Okay, this is the one that's going to have the Gallery Originals pin in it. It's kind of like a signature piece in this. Okay, this again is another one of those that. And I'm not sure what that is, but hopefully you guys know what that is. I think this definitely has some age on it. Um, what's that mark? Ooh, what does that say? That says something there. Can you try to figure out what that says right on there? Okay. She's doing that. This is the gallery originals. That's not English. Looks very what? 80s. It might just be letters it's or numbers. numbers. Okay, what are the numbers? It's really weird numbers. Because it might be like 14K gold filled or something. 1720. 12 K. She's seeing 17, 20, 12 K. Mm, 12 K could actually, do they make 12 karat gold? I don't know. Here, I'll look again in a minute. So this is the little sign gallery There's originals. Right over it. All right. We got to look closer at this. Hold on. Stand by. I will put her on with that. In the meantime, you're on. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be ready for the camera to go live. This says, hmm, might be a mystery. The, the mark is really faint, but there is something there. So, I don't know. This could be, the, this is the mystery piece. It's the mystery piece. This is the one I'm talking about. All right. Now, you're also going to get this sweet little thing here. I don't know. I know the little 
board that it's on is very, very old. It's the original little cardboard and it looks like a tiger. Yeah, there's a tiger on that. Look at that. And it's just a little pin. And this is a very old little piece. Oops. That will make your viewers figure it out. You know what? This is why auctions are good because you can get stuff if nobody else knows what it is and you know it's a hidden gem. So you got this sweet little pin here. Look at the back of this one, how the closure on this is just, oh, there we go. It's just one of those, it kind of, what do you call that? Where it just kind of loops in. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's gold, but I do think it could be gold filled. All right, then you got this sweet little, little pearl and rhinestone pin here. Oh, it's seeing my eye. Look at that. So I can't, there we go. My goodness. Does that say something? That says something on that one too. That says, this one is 12 karat gold filled on this one. Then we've got this one here with the little dangly. There we go. I'm just going to get it over to Rachel. She can show you. Oops, a little dangly teardrop pearl. This almost looks like jade to me. I don't know. It looks like a little ball of jade on this one. And it's, uh, what is it called when it's got this little thing? I don't know. What is that supposed to do? I don't know. Yeah, I'm jewelry dumb. I'm jewelry dumb. My ignorance is your profit. <laughs> And then you're gonna get this. There's a little crystal heart pin. Are you marked? I don't see a mark. Your phone is still mad. My phone is mad. And then this is the most interesting piece here, and this sucker is old. Look at this. I'm not even sure this is allowed to be sold on eBay. Just be forewarned. This is like black Americana. I don't think I've ever seen. Come on, camera. There we go. There we go. And it's got, you know, like a little bit of that like corrosion thing going on that you see on some of these old pins. This is a really old pin. Your camera is really annoying. Can anyone give me a guesstimate on a time frame for this one based on that construction? You're getting all those. So there's one, one, two, three, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. All eight pins. All eight pins for one many. That's a tie tack. The chain goes into a buttonhole. Oh, see? I just learned something. I see $50 with Nancy. $50 with Nancy. I'm telling you, this, this, this one right here. I'd love to know more about that one. I'd love to know more about that pin right there, the history on that pin. Like a time frame. Is it 1920s, 30s, 40s? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's early. Just the construction. This closure. Like what time period did they do here? Pay attention. What time period did they make closures like this? They don't. They don't really do that. Um, 52 with Melissa. 52 with Melissa. Nobody wants to tell me because if you tell me, then I give away a secret. So, yeah, it does look very old. So maybe you can tell me when we're all done, if you win it. <laughs> really? You think it's that old? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It feels like it could be that old. Honestly, this, this really feels old. All right, thank you. 1850s closure. Wow. All right, you guys know what it's worth. You guys know what it's worth, and we're only at 54. 
only at 54. How about him? Like this looks like a 1950s kind of, I don't know. Is that like on a Tiffany blue? Ooh, maybe I should take it off of there. Let's see if he's got any marks. I'm going to look on the back of him. Nope. Oh, wait. Is he, is he, yeah, there's something on there, isn't there? Uh, if you could hold the camera, I could read it. No, wait. I'm going to bring out my little loop while they're bidding over there. This one says, this one says 10 carat. It says CTO one tenth 10 carat. CTO one tenth 10 carat. I don't know what CTO is. Who made CTO? But I'm referring. So this is one tenth 10 carat gold on this little guy with the tiger. So where are we at? 54. $54 going once. going twice. Sold. That might have been the steal of the sale. Steal of the sale there. And unless something comes in late, let me see. Let me make sure that goes where I think it's going. It's the trademark of the O.C. Tanner Jewelry Company in Salt Lake City. Ah, okay. And that went to Melissa. Melissa, when you find out about a couple of those pieces, I would love to know. I just love the history of this stuff. That's why I buy it. All right. Let's see. I'm running out of fun stuff. I have mostly jewelry left. Okay, I have one more lot of rosaries. One more. This is the last lot of rosaries. And again, it's going to be five. And mom, you can call this the blue, blue, green, That's red. and red. <laughs> it's a really deep red. The blue, green, and red. Yay, you got your jewelry from last time. Yay. Awesome. Sure. Yeah, they should be arriving today. I said I got them out on Tuesday, just a little behind schedule. All right. So in this rosary lot, you are getting the light, light crystals. Okay. I'll tell you if I seem signed. I, I know you're not on yet. Let me just show them and then I will. Like this one, the crucifix part feels plastic. Oh, it's signed though on the silver part of the back. It is signed L O U R D E S. L O U R D E S on the back of the crucifix part. I don't know the significance of that. And then you're going to get a little cobalt blue beaded one here. This one. I don't see any signing on that one. And then this green. Oh, and Bobby got her Chinese ginger jar. And it arrived safely, didn't it? I hope. Tell me it, tell me it arrived safely. Oh, Lord's France. Okay. And then here's the green. I've been getting yelled at for tossing the packages in the comments. This one is signed, I believe, Italy. Yep, that one's signed Italy. All right, this one is not technically a rosary. It does not have a crucifix. It has, again, this one has Saint Anthony on the bottom. I guess you still call them a rosary. Do you still call it a rosary if they have that? This is the red that we were trying to figure out the color on. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you on over here. There you go. All right. In France, a site of springs and waters considered holy for healing. Ah, okay. All right. 
you love when I toss the packages. <laughs> I got lots of mad comments about that. Like I got told not to do that, that it raises anxiety, but you know, 22 years of shipping packages, you learn that if you don't have it packaged well enough to sustain that, it risks being broken in transit. It just does. Let me, I was going to turn it around so you can see that. There we go. 25, 26, I see 26 with old stuff, Beth, Texas. 30 with Bobby. 30 with Bobby. I'm going to say, unless I'm just missing some of the, the chat action here. It's showing up blue, but it's green. It's green. No, it's a green. I'm going to say, oh, possibly check crystals. Yeah, it's possible. I bought all of this religious jewelry from an estate. I bought a huge, huge box full of it. And I don't know what I was thinking because I never, ever did anything with it until I started doing this. So you guys are getting the benefit of a $500 inventory purchase that I sat on. My mom can confirm. Like, I just was overwhelmed with how much there was to deal with. <laughs> so, so now, <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> All right. So, I see, uh, I see 30. We're going to say going once going twice and we are going to say so Boop. okay oh we got to do the animals here come on now do oh. little, little animals oh I saw a little action come in there at the end Ozzy does not wish to be bothered. Okay, sorry, dead air. I know I'm watching what's happening over in the chat. So, um, Janine, if you could just let Joni say the soul, we're going with what Joni sees because she she's in line with what most people have internet wise and then try to st state picker mom. And you know what? Um, since Bobby upped her own bid by $2, let her have it for 35. Let her have it by 30 for 35. Not going to let you up your own bid there. We're all good. Yep. There you go. 35 to Bobby Jansky. 35. Thanks, Janine. Thanks for trying to help. Like, we just don't want to let it get too muddled in there. Keep the system working. Okay, so I have another. Hold on, let me sort this out first because I've got. Hold on. Yeah, don't, don't get your hands off of that little girl. She's diving in trying to grab stuff. Okay, I've got these really old. I'm just going to let Rachel put them up here. I stick myself all the time with these pins if I don't close them. All right, I'm just gonna put you on the screen. I'm not even gonna try to get that to focus. So wait, I didn't say anything about the doggy yet. You're just so anxious on the doggy. But I the doggy. I said we had three ducks and then you didn't put the third duck up there. So you got these three little enamel ducks. <laughs> I was saving the doggy to last. And then we got a little bee. Look at that. Look at the little bee. Come on, little bee. There's a little bee. He's not signed. I'm gonna get the little bee. And then again, this is one of those, this is one of those old pins. I will show you. Gosh, darn it. Focus. There we go. There we go. Okay. Because this has kind of that same primitive closure on the back. Look at that. Maybe. I'd love to show you if my camera would cooperate. And um, he's got like, it's 
Got a little oxidation on the back too. Look at that. So this is a really old piece. So you're going to get all five of the old pieces of, no, we're going to do this one in a separate lock. And we got some men going. Um, let's see. If you are a new bidder, if you just arrived, we do $1 bid increments and make sure you are in live chat and welcome. Welcome, welcome. British or Scottish? Um, what are we what are we talking about? On which one? I'm I'm lost. We are only at seven dollars on these very old pins. You're getting all five. Eight dollars with three. Can you show the B closer? Try to get that B. What? Do you know what that song is? Yeah. What is it? Flight of the Bumblebee. Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. She got it. <laughs> She's a musician, too. Did I mention that? Let's turn him over so they can see the backside in here. Backside of a bee. Now you're seeing the backside of a bee. Well, now the bee just looks dead. It does look like a dead bee. He's got no stinger, though. So maybe, yeah. All right. Yeah, this one is old. I'm telling you, that one is I like old. The I like the doggy, too. And these are not, these are no youngsters, either. These little enameled ducks. Let's see the backside of those. All of these are old, 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 old. I would probably, down at the booth, I would sell these little ducks for at least 10 bucks a piece. I'm not sure. I, he's probably, I I haven't done any research. Just, just looking at like my gut would say he's a $25 pin. You got like, you know, $60, $70 worth of pins right here. And our bid is at $10. We are only at $10. But you know what? It's an auction. It is what it is. We're at $12. I was just about to say, going once. Thank and I'll you. say, oh, 13. Thank you. You know what? If you tell me what those bids are doing, I can get ready with the next lot so we can keep this little show moving right along. 16, 15, 15, so I think I'm going to do some costume jewelry rings next. We're going to have some fun on the next lot. 16, 16 with Barbara. Because we are getting down to the end. I don't know what that one is. You have to do my 16 going days. once. 16 going twice. 18 with Fern. 18 with Fern. It's a tie. Uh-oh, we got a tie. Oh, Barbara was in first at 18. Somebody break the tie for me. Please break the tie for me. 20. I see 20 with Barbara. 20 with Barbara. One, two, three, four. Try to straighten out my little ring mess over here. All right, we'll call it that. All right, we'll move it back. 22 with Kathleen. And let's say going once. Show back again of which one? Of the old one? Do you mean the old one, Nancy, the, the dog? She show all the backs. Here, close up. There's your closure. Going twice. And sold. Yeah. All right. 
we are going to do. Oh, Kelly's peak in the past. It looks like you are lagging just a little bit behind there because Nancy came in at 25 that I see. Okay, Tri-State Picker Mom says that Kelly's peaking to the past, got in at $26. Right on, lot 31, sold for $26. All right, this is a lot of four vintage. Now, I'm going to call them rhinestone. I'm going to call them rhinestone. These are some old pins, some of the uh, pins, rings, some of these. So I'm going to let you judge for yourself. This one is the newest looking one. Where did my ring holder go? Here. Here. Because I have to give them the size too. Here. Let me have that. Let me have let me have that. <laughs> let me have it. <laughs> right. Okay, so here's the first one. Oh. Nah. <laughs> there we go. She touches and pets the dog and then she puts her hand in my face. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh. You yeah. let the dog kiss your face. Different. It's different. It's not your grubby little hands. Okay. This one. This one is marked. Here we go. I swear if they ever came out with like I site replacement, I would. Oh, okay. This one is marked China. I thought this one was really old. That's funny. S975. S975 or is it 925? Two. 925. Okay. That first one is actually silver. Wait. Yeah. This one. And then this one. It's a nice little band ring. I don't know if this one's marked. You guys can start bidding if you see something R you like. R925. Oh, the, the one marked China actually also says 925. That's interesting. This one is also 925. These, these are sterling rings. These are sterling rings. And so I'm going to guess this is probably a cubic zirconia in there, but you never know. If it's diamonds, you win. And then this last one is. This one has yep. 925 as well. Yep. And so does this one. They all are marked 925. So let me give you some sizes. You can use that if you want to. All right. I'm going to. Let her start showing you the close-up. I'm going to give you the sizes. These are all, so yeah, I'm getting you the sizes right now. So this one is five and three quarters. Five and three quarters on this one. Don't mess me up. <laughs> this one is uh, six and three quarters on this one. Six and three quarters on this one. This one is a six. This one is a six. And the last one is a six and three quarter. Six and three quarter on that one. All right, these are all sterling. Come on, somebody give me give me give me a power bid. Uh oh, do we have a problem on that last? So my screen. My screen shows on that last lot that Nancy was in at 25 and that Kelly's 26 came in after Joni said sold. 
That's what I see. That's what I see. Okay. Sterling silver, you guys. Sterling silver and white stones. <laughs> All sterling rings, all sterling rings. This is when I get major anxiety. Because <laughs> these rings should be like $30 a piece. It is sterling silver. Thank you, Joanne, for the 40. Thank you for the 40. And all of the proceeds are benefiting the Niche Foundation. I know I don't mention that often enough through here. So your bid is going to help disadvantaged women to be able to build their own online businesses. So all right, we'll get it straightened out guys. No worries. No worries. No worries. Okay. 45 with Char. 45 with Char. Channel set. Is it a channel set? Mm, I'm not sure any of them go together, but maybe. I don't know. Do you think these two go together? Is that what you're saying? Oh, look at that. Those do kind of go together, don't they? Yeah, look at that. Good catch. Yeah, they are. They go together. 55. See if we can get it to focus. Focus, focus, focus. It doesn't focus close in. My camera's letting me down. There we go. The CZ is set in a channel set. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like it. But it does look like that that's like a little, a little wedding set. And then you've got the, what do you call it? Like, are they called baguettes? Like when the little, this, like when the diamond is cut in the little rectangles, is that a baguette? I know, see, I told you guys, like I'm kind of a dunce when it comes to jewelry terms. I'm trying to learn. I know we're kind of focused right now. We're kind of focused. 60 with Heather. Okay, now I'm feeling better. Now I'm feeling better. 60 with Heather. I keep getting told that I should hang on to all of my gold and silver. I just keep getting told that and I don't do it. <laughs> yes, baguettes. So see, that's what I thought. And I don't know. Do they ever put diamonds into silver? I don't know. I don't know. But these are all marked 925. They are all marked 925. I owe you three days of doing dishes. You got it. You got it. 63 is where we're at with Gleeful Treasures. 63. I'm going to say going once. Oh, 65 with Heather. Sneaking in there. You want to take this back over now? All right. Um, Nancy, you're a little behind Heather there. Um, need to break that 65. They do put diamonds and gemstones into silver. So I'm not going to say they're diamonds, but it's a possibility they are diamonds. I don't know. I don't. I All I know is I bought this stuff at auction 70. many years ago. We are at $70 with Joanne. $70 with Joanne. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Maybe. Well, it's sold. Let's Until have to see who gets in there with the last bids. Yeah. Let me get these all on here. Okay. Oh, looks like we had a little snipe action at the end there. Told you. A little snipe action at the end. 
this one? There was something I wanted to. Oh, here it is. Well, that's what I wanted to sell you guys. So I think you'll have fun with this lot. Relax. Hey, and I'm okay. I'm okay if you guys get a treasure in this and make a ton of money. I, I that doesn't bother. It would have bothered me to sell it for five bucks. I will say that. But um, I feel really good when you guys. I, if I sell it for for a decent amount, and then you can go and double or triple that, I am good with that. And I would love to know. I would love to know if you got a really good item out of this sale. Always love to know that. Okay. We, and Joanne, I don't know. Do I have an email from Joanne yet? Joanne, if you could send me an email to Dan or blah, 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 the niche lady at gmail.com. Okay. Yep. You know the drill. Your YouTube name, name, PayPal address, all that good stuff. Awesome. Yes. If anybody is buffering, like we are almost done. I will tell you that. And then we are going to do some giveaways. Ah, oh, if they were bigger sizes, they would have gone for more. Yeah. Um, so if you can hang in there with me just a few more minutes, maybe like two more lots, and then we're going to give some stuff away. All right. So this is a lot of, what do I call it? Well, you'll see. First is this little guy here who, I'm not sure what he's made of. I don't know if he's faux or real. Um, let me look under my little loop. I'm going to say... I don't know what I'm going to say because I can't really tell. We're, we're going to say he's resin, okay? And if he turns out to be something other than resin, great. Then you've got this little... Now, I want to call this jade, but I'm not sure it's jade. Um, it's definitely a stone. It's cold. Very cold, actually. Which is this... Dip -a -dip -a. <laughs> She's grabbing stuff out of my hands now. <laughs> I don't think that's what I was looking on the back to see if I saw like the channels that bone has. I don't see any channels. I also don't see any cross hatching, which is what you would see with Jade. So it's a mystery piece, but that's okay. That's why it's in being included with all these other pretties. This is a little, little geody guy. This is a piece of, turquoise. I don't know if this is, is this turquoise? That looks like turquoise. Is it raw turquoise or is there another stone that mimics turquoise that would look like that? Call this our little gemstone lot. That's what we'll call it. This is another piece that I believe is jade. I believe it's jade. Again, it is cold. And then I've got a pretty little, I know there's a name for this too, but I don't know what it is right off the top of my head. What's that? Um, this, I don't know. I don't know. This was like fitted into something. So I'm just going to throw that in. And I know you guys always like the little dichroic glass. So I'm going to throw a dichroic glass pendant in here as well. This one's ready to be strung up. All right, you're getting it all. All of those pieces for you one money. Help. How light? You know what would help? What would help? If I actually put you on the screen, you know what? That would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> See, I'm getting tired. How light? Is that the black the black one, Joni? Is is that how light? Or is that are you answering to like the turquoisey one? I think it's turquoise. Da, 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 da. Snowflake obsidian, black and white one. Ah, oh, snowflake obsidian. Okay, so now which one is the how light? The blue one is blue one. Oh, okay. So it's not turquoise. It's how light. 
gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that it, it, it was something that mimics turquoise, but isn't turquoise. So, yeah. Okay. Rachel's looking at this stuff going, oh man, how come you have to sell this mom? I like this stuff. I want it. Can you show them the little guy and show the back close up? Getting He's good. made to look like a bone or ivory, but I don't think he is. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, where's our bidding? I see Melissa at 15. Melissa at 15. Now figure out what we're doing for our grand finale lot. Oh, I know what we're doing for our grand finale lot. I'm going to do what we always do. Yeah. 16 with Barbara. 20 with Nancy. I see 20 with Nancy. We call that in the auction biz. New blood. <laughs> Melissa is at 22. So is this Jade, you guys? Are one of these Jade? I'm not sure. I think... Mm -hmm. This one I'm pretty sure is Jade, but this one I think is, there's that other green. It is, is Jade. Okay. Wasn't sure. Thought so though. I used to live in Tucson, Arizona, where I went to the gem show and um, thought I had learned about some of this stuff. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice piece. Okay. We are at 25. That means free shipping. If anybody has just jumped in playing along, 25 with Nancy. And if you were here like in that first hour and you're thinking of leaving right now, don't do it yet. Don't do it. We're getting ready to do our drawing. We're going to do one more lot after this. And then, oh, I'm going to throw something in. I'm going to throw some. I have no idea why I'm throwing this in, but there. Okay. There you go. Uh, it's just a little rhinestone. We're going to just throw the little rhinestone in there, too. <laughs> it's really shiny. It's a really shiny little rhinestone. Your hand is totally blocking everything they could possibly see. There you go. Caroline, it looks like you are behind. You are behind. Make sure you are in live chat. Live chat. All right. We're going to say go in once. I see $30 with Nancy. That's who I see as the top bid at this very moment in time. I'm going to say going twice. I'm going to say sold. Boop. Could you put those all back in that box, please? What box? This box right here. There we go. Okay, we are going to do our finale. The, I guess it's a couple couple pounds of our like repair miscellaneous lot i'm just going to briefly everything in here is like missing um like a most of this is missing just like it's closures like most of it is good it just needs to be the closures like this almost looks like a collar anyway so i'm going to kind of show you the pieces real quick you're going to get some strands of I don't know. Those, those feel pretty good. Stand by. You see, that would have had a really nice clasp on it. So very possible you might have some pearls in here. Here, I'm going to put this over here and then I'm going to turn it on at the end. Oh, here's some more pearls or faux pearls. We're going to call it faux pearls, but see like most of it is just missing. It's got like one side and the other side is and I know we have some crafters and some that last lot sold to Nancy Hammerly for $30. Nancy, have you emailed me yet? I'm not seeing an email right off the bat. Oh, maybe you did. Is it down? No, I don't see. Nancy, if you could please send me an email before we get finished just to make sure it goes through the niche lady at gmail.com. Send me your YouTube name, your real name your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. Yeah, they just need some love. Look at this cool little thing. This is actually just a pendant. Like, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. No, it's just a groovy pendant. 
It's groovy. Not signed. Oh, there's more. You're not going to be able to spread out that far because there's more. This. Oh, I was just differentiating the curls. Oh, this is like a little belty ropey thing. Belty ropey thing with. It's got these rhinestone ends on it. And um, I'm not even sure what this is for. Maybe you do. But that's what it. Is it a belt? No, it's too small to be a belt. But see, it's actually. Maybe it's a. That would have to be a very skinny woman to be a belt. But there you go. There you go. So you're getting that. There's some hematite. Little hematite with a arrowhead hematite and again the clasp is broken throwing that in there all right some of this i think got tangled oh another pearls more pearls lots of pearls i'll let you straighten out i got some silver pearls or some silver pearls <laughs> i think <laughs> I think I sold the other half to this some time ago in one of the repair lots, but there you go. Get him. Let's see what else I got in here. Oh, we got this little single earring. And we've got, oh, I've got a little bit of a tangled mess here because I put these all in a bag. And now, uh-oh, I've got a little chaos. I've got a little chaos here. Stand by. Rachel, I might need your help. Okay, Rachel, I'm going to hold the camera and I'm going to let you untangle because I have a mess here now. That or I could just let them get it and untangle the mess. Oh, I got one. I got this. Look, oh, this is an old eyeglasses holder. Nothing wrong with that. That's a vintage glasses holder. That's going in here. Um. Oh, here we go. This is a lot of stuff. I know I do this at the end every time we just do a big old honking lot of cool stuff. This says somebody's initials and it's like a charm pendant thing. And there's like a shell and all this stuff here. And there's the initials and it's on a fairly nice chain. So nothing wrong with this one. We're just throwing that in because it got tangled with the rest. So, and then this, you guys can be bidding while I'm talking and adding more stuff. Here's another one. Oh, nothing wrong with this one. Yeah, I threw stuff in the repair lot that doesn't need repair, too. So you got some good stuff in here, too. Oh, here's where we got. Here's our tangle. Here's our tangle, Rachel. You hold the camera. All right. See what? See this the pin? The not even on. The pin. What? You're supposed to, like, nudge me sooner. Huh. I thought you didn't mean to have it on. All right, so she's going to try to untangle that last little bit. But so far, here's what we got, and we're going to add a little more to it. Free shipping. You are at free shipping on this lot right now. Free shipping. Where's my crafters and my, my jewelry people? You got lots of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff. You got to be quick. You got to be quick, Rachel. You got to hurry. Well, I got this one. I know. As soon as you get one handed to me, I'll show it to him. <laughs> oh, she got another one. Oh, give me, hand me that. All right. So we just untangled this piece. It's going to go in there, too. And that piece doesn't have a broken. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of a broken clasp. Oh, and she untangled. Oh, there's nothing wrong with this one. Nothing at all wrong with this one. There we go. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like trying. It's like I'm trying to uh, chew gum and rub my head at the same time. What do they, what do they call that? It's so, broken. So this is just a single wire earring. It'd be great for it. Oh, this would be so good. Or like one of those jewel Christmas tree art things that would be the top of the tree. Look at that. All right. She's getting there. Can't get this one. You got until she gets the last little one untangled, or we're just gonna show you what's tangled together. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's the other earring. Are they both there? 
we got a pair here let me show them let me just show them the tangle let me show them what's tangled here this is what we're working on here so you've got another one of these earring things tangled up with this little thing so we're just going to leave that and let whoever gets it gets to untangle. well she's going to keep working on it she wants to keep working on it okay so it might be done before you get it but it might be tangled when you get it <laughs> i see peggy at 37. kathleen you are a little bit behind of peggy so we're at 37 looking for 38. we're going to say going once we're going to say going twice. And then after this, we're going to do the giveaways. And we're going to say sold. All right. All right. Okay. Don't knock my phone down. I can't do anything with that. All right. What am I going to give away? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to give away some stuff. These are my appreciation gifts because I know this takes a lot of time out of your Friday. And I am so thrilled that um, this is working out for the Niche Foundation, which because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to fundraise for them. And this is like the perfect thing. And I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. And uh, let's see. What am I going to give away? Oh, all right. I'm going to do. I am going to do, I kind of kill myself doing some of these heavy giveaways because <laughs> then I make the packages really heavy. Uh, what do I want to give away? I want to give him away. I want to give him away. So here's how we're going to test and make sure that the people are still here. I'm going to show you the giveaways. The first person drawn it's to pick which item they want and so on and so forth. How's that? Okay, Jody. I'm sorry, I lied. We're gonna do six giveaways. Let me show you the choices so that if your name is picked and Peggy Kinney, you won that lot for $37. Thank you so much. Make sure that you have emailed me. I see it, you did, thank you. All right, so you're gonna get six choices. We have the Yorkshire Terrier little tile guy. So that's one choice. We have the fun little penguin dude. He's made of wood. I left this price tag on too. It's so bad. Okay. His price tag's gone. <laughs> so he's a painted wood penguin. There you go. And the tile. You guys might remember seeing me get the Disney little egg Melmac plates with, uh, what did we say, um, Thumper's Girlfriend. Somebody actually told me the name of Thumper's Girlfriend. And there we go. You got that choice. The Laurel Birch plate. And then the last two choices are either my little garlic shaker or this one I think might be American Bisque or Shawnee or one of those and that these are like both singles. Okay. All right, Joni, you ready? Let us draw the first name. And the first winner is... Heather Matasek. Heather, if you are still here, let me know what your choice is. Let me know what your choice is, Heather. So if any of you just kind of found this by accident, you didn't get the notification that we were starting this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And also that you hit that little bell that tells you how to set up the notifications and you choose all. And then you will be told when we go live. Okay, so Heather chooses the Laurel Birch Plate. Laurel Birch Plate goes to Heather. All right, that's out of the running. Who's our next winner, Joni? Waiting, waiting for the next winner. And Joni, you can just be ready, like with the next name. 
mic, so we'll just keep it moving right along. Janine Sappel, Janine, are you still here? If you are still here, tell me which of the remaining items that you would like as your freebie. We got the penguin. We got one of the shakers. We got the Yorkies. And we got the Disney plates. Rachel's still over here untangling. Janine is not here. So we will pick another name. Oh, she sure is. There she is. Okay. She would like, you mean the Shawnee, the little Shawnee girl. There you go. Now, here's how this works too. If you didn't actually win an auction lot when everything was going on, if you were like the underbidder and you got in, and I'm not sure if you did or not, so I'm not, I'm, I'm just putting this out here for anybody. Be sure if you get an invoice from me for a penny, just if you could just pay me that penny invoice because what that does is allows me to print a shipping label that's the only reason i have to send an invoice yes okay so janine takes the shawnee shaker shawnee shakers out of the running now who's our next winner and also if you have not already emailed me be sure you email me so i know where to send that invoice so your youtube name your real name your shipping address and your your paypal email address so i can send you that invoice for a penny melissa melissa which item would you like i think i know i yeah i was already holding it in my hand i knew you were gonna want the, the garlic guy i love him he's so cute okay here's what we've got left she's gonna pick the next name and we've got disney plates mr penguin and we got the yorkies are they Yorkies? They're Yorkies. Yes. Okay. Those are Yorkies. R. Kelly Lemonade, are you still here? Let me know of these three choices that are left, which one you would like. R. Kelly Lemonade. Are you in the house? Melissa, I'm going to see if I can fit all your stuff into a padded envelope this time again. <laughs> also, everybody give me a couple days to get these invoices out. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to put everything together. My mom, who doesn't get to talk in the chat, because she's frantically writing all the notes for the sale, and then she gets that and sends it to me, and then I get it all sorted out. If we won before a few weeks ago, do we also send an email? You know, it actually, it, it wouldn't hurt that way. I don't have to go hunt you down. <laughs> it just, I mean, because I get so many emails. So this kind of puts it all in one place. If you wouldn't mind, that would be awesome. R. Kelly is gone now. R. Kelly is gone now. So pick me another name, Joni. You got to be present to win. Got to still be here. This is the appreciation time. For those of you who have stuck it out, Mary Ann Unser. Mary Ann Unser, are you still here? And if so, which item of the three that we have left would you like? Disney plates, Mr. Penguin, or the Yorkies? And then. Joni, go ahead and grab another name. Just go ahead and we'll get, put another winner out there. Um, Marianne gets first dibs to put in. But we're going to, we got to get this wrapped up. You almost got it? Yeah. That looks like that might even be a little gold chain in there. No, maybe. I don't know. It's dainty. Does that okay, Marianne's gone. Wendy Melton. What? We get to 340. Does that count as another yes, day? Yes, it counts as another day. I'm doing your dishes. <laughs> I'm just doing dishes. Wendy's gone. Okay, who's next? Bree Gia. Bree Gia. Are you still here? Bree Gia. Tell me what you would like. Done. 
I found and go ahead and pick me another name. Oh, she got it. I found the clip. So do these match? I found the clippy so I could unclip. They don't it. match. They're different. Unless they, oh, I think they used to match. Oh, see, they used to match and now they don't match anymore. But they're the same kind of thing. Okay. She wants the penguin. Bree wants the penguin. All right. We got two left. Two left. Let's get this wrapped up. Try state picker mom. Which one would you like? The Easter plates, you got it. And then pick a name for our little Yorkie tile. Yorkie tile is going to go to The suspense is killing me. Who gets the Yorkies? I don't know. Peggy Kinney, you get the Yorkies. Yay. So everyone, make oh, sure no. you've emailed me. I can't I can't tell if this is supposed to be here. It's okay because it's already that that lot was already won. But it's stuck. Oh, like there's this. like an extra. Probably not. No. It's not stuck. In, I think this one might be gold. So whoever got that uh, little uh, repair lot, you've got a perfectly good little gold chain yeah, here. Clamp still works too. Yeah, it's yeah. And I'm this just, one's good too. I'm just looking. I think it's signed. I think it says. It says something. It's marked. Might be 14k. You might have gotten a 14 karat gold necklace in there. Keeping it honest. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. We will do this again next week, next Friday, 1 p.m. Make sure you're subscribed and you have hit the little bell for to set up the notifications so you know when I go live. I will also be here live on Monday for my regular. We do research. We do store reviews. We help with all your eBay questions. Thank you to my awesome, awesome moderators, my wrenches. Thank you, my wrenches. <laughs> You are the best. I couldn't do this alone. There is no way I could do this by myself. So I appreciate all of you who are so willing to give your time and talents to help me. And Rachel, thank you. You have made it so much easier to show this stuff. I just want to say. And you owe me four days. Of and she's all she's thinking about is that she doesn't have to do dishes. Uh, it's a good, it's a good trade-off honestly all right everyone enjoy your weekend and go be profitable and make it fun and we will see you on the next one bye